Hello there, good evening. You're watching The 900, a very exciting format of snooker. And tonight it is a finals night and delighted to be joined by the 12 times champion of the world, uh, that is Rhianne Evans and the shirt, uh, Lee Richardson. What a buzz finals night. We've got one player on the wall already, that is Josh Thomond, and who will be crowned champion for week two. It's all on the line. Can't wait. This is a great lineup tonight, and the draws worked out kind of well for everybody there. Really, you've not got two massive players playing each other, or the two people that have got very high like, odds on to playing each other. So I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Normally, you think that, but with the standard that we've had over the last two days, it's like it's literally anybody's, and that as I said, the standard's been so high. But today is crunch day, and can they handle the nerves? to get on that on that board there well this is it and uh, the the biggest prize money in amateur snooker so we're already smashing records it is season two we've had two nights this week monday the champion of course uh, we had uh, craig steadman uh, you're still very fancying um, him <laughs> aren't you and george pragnan last night let's just reflect on him because he's the most recent winner yeah he was a big favorite he struggled a little bit early on but then he, he come good he should have had a really big break and beat his practice partner's break but yeah no it, he stood up to the task and he, at the end when yeah. he needed to he, he came good yeah one visits the one visit started That's to come what from you Lee like, Walker yeah. <laughs> George Bragnall getting in there yeah I mean it just shows you you know 20 seconds is long enough for these boys just to make one visit yeah and uh, it's going to be the same tonight I'm sure and even the players that aren't you know aren't fancied still can score and the 20 seconds that lee refers to is the shot clock we will get to the rules if you are a first time viewer of the 900 great to have your company tonight so week two let's take a look then who is fancy to be crowned the winner of course the grand final on the 22nd of november eight players will make it through we've got one already josh Thomond. craig stedman is the favorite 11 to 4 george pragnell at 9 to 2 lee walker 9 to 2 as well 5 to 1 for peter devlin on ye at sevens and Patrick Whelan eight to one, Aidan Murphy nines and Joe Johnson, uh, the 1986 world champion. We always like to have a, a legend um, at this event as well. Joe's been pretty good, but the bookmakers are saying no chance, Rianne. Yeah, on form and on those names, you would say that. But as performance goes, he's been one of the highlights. He's His long pot in was absolutely sublime, wasn't it? It was like rolling back the years. But he also made a fifty or a forty or fifty to go with it as well, and he was unlucky to lose the first night and then come back and got through. So yeah, but the top three names are probably really are the favourites from the whole list. But on you still in there, so we're yeah. all good for the women as and well. And the thing is, Joe's Joe's only twelve to one because he's playing George Pragnell, and even on Yee's, she's seven to one because she's playing Lee Walker. No, George Pragnell. Pro yeah, sorry, George Pragnell. So that's that's why they're the odds they are. Well, it's, it's it, isn't it? If, if if they get past their first match, <laughs> if they've got a you know a bit of a sticky draw to start with, that price will be getting a lot smaller. There's a couple on there. You mentioned uh, Aiden a little bit earlier at around about eight to one. You've got Patrick as well, who must have a big chance. So um, certainly there are bigger odds to find and maybe the fancy runners they don't always come home last week let's just remind you we're going to take a look at the draw now and uh, if you didn't uh, join us for the week one finals night we had a 50 to 1 accumulator uh, all the outsiders that uh, won their matches so let's see how they go this evening <laughs> and our first quarter final will feature Peter Devlin and Aidan Murphy 8-13 for Devlin Patrick Whelan 13 to 8 Craig Stedman 4 to 9 the favourite and George Pragnell 4 to 6 just about the favourite with Onyi at 11 11 to 10 and Lee Walker he's 2 to 1 on to beat uh, Joe Johnson we were chatting about Akers and what's going to happen will we have like a big coupon buster this evening it's quite interesting the way two of you've gone because you've gone with the shorties Lee yeah I've gone for all the favourites there so I've gone for Devlin Stedman Pragnall and Walker yeah, and then I've gone the total opposite because I think it's so open. The standard's been amazing. If they can keep it up, it's going to be a, a fantastic night. So I've gone Aidan Murphy, Patrick Whelan, Onye, and obviously the legend that is Joe Johnson. And so yours, yours pays just over 40, 40, 40 to 1, to one roughly, yeah, and so. mine pays just under 4 to 1. So, it, yeah, I mean, look, I picked all the favourites last week and they all got beat. <laughs> Has that ever happened before? All the favourites got beat. <laughs> Well, this is it. And that's why we love the 900 so much. It is an unpredictable format. It's the, the same format as last season, of course. Uh, just uh, one one frame, 900 seconds. That's what it's all about, 15 minutes. So uh, you've, you've got a chance 
And, but you know, you can't blow it because it, we're talking about prize money, but it's all about the grand final. Real excitement downstairs as well in the club. No, it's buzzing. It's buzzing down. It's quite busy as well. Yeah, it's very it, busy, it, yeah. Because <laughs> that builds the atmosphere. And, you know, and there's also like a, the local league, they're playing a little 900 down there as well. So, and they're just finishing up. So I think, and they'll all stay, they'll all tune in to watch it. So it, it's, it's good. It's a great atmosphere down there. And it just creates more drama. Yeah, and they're all talking about the frames of the balls they miss, the balls they party. So they're all still <laughs> thinking about it. And, oh, he played that shot well. He's good at that. And so they're all thinking all the tactics out there. So Gosh, this game, very this game must do your head in, guys. <laughs> this game is tough, isn't it? Uh, right, what about our pundits? It's all about the bragging rights. Uh, we ask, ask them every single week to put up a, a selection for you. And Rianne has got on ye um, going strong. She's been fabulous uh, the first night. Uh, the shirt is with Craig Stedman, who was a winner uh, on uh, night one on Monday. And then Neil, he's got two running, so he's very much holding the bragging right at this point. He's got Peter Devlin and uh, George Pragnell, who was successful in our mini final last night. So uh, that's our 900 team. And uh, what about the professionals? Professional snooker players, that is. Uh, great to have them all involved. And, uh, well, they're not involved, the top two, are they? Ali Carter, Mark Selby, out. Cliff Thorburn and Onyi and Mark Williams going anyone but Lee Walker. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that, I'm sure, uh, as we get to uh, Lee Walker and uh, his match against uh, Joe Johnson. Uh, but uh, great to have Cliff Thorburn, um, the 1980 world champion, three times a Masters champion. He's tuning in in Canada. It's uh, this evening in Canada. So uh, good evening to, to Cliff. Um, hope you're well. And wouldn't it be great if we saw him in the 900? Oh, he's an absolute legend. He's one of my favourites of the old boys, if you can call him that. But he is 70. Four, I think, um, but he actually won a, uh, a snooker, a seniors masters, which was under a shot clock. So you, you're under a shot clock of 20 seconds. There was no limit on the on the frame time, but it was a 20 second shot clock. So you know he can still play because it was only a couple of years ago. Yeah, I know they don't practice and don't play in those competitive environments anymore. But when you're a legend like that, these sort of players, you don't lose it totally. There's still a little bit of instinct in there, and he yeah. just gets trouble and getting on the shot. That's his only problem. They know how to play on the TV. Once you're a legend, you're always a legend. Mm -hmm. And um, well, we'll find out if he's a shrewd tipster as well, uh, Cliff Thorburn. And uh, how shrewd are you? Who's going to win tonight? Hashtag the 900. If you'd like to ask the questions, uh, send in your tweets or your on X at Snooker Legends and the hashtag is the 900 and we're very much looking forward to a, a fun evening a really competitive evening and can you believe it it's season two and we still don't have a name for our, our arena so we've got you busy haven't we we've uh, been looking for suggestions and I don't know if we're getting any closer now I have to say uh, Richie G has uh, suggested the panic room uh, Xander Hamilton has gone with Parsons Arena to be very careful with some of these <laughs> Derek McGrath has gone with uh, the vault uh, Matt Andrews is with the wishing well and Neil Jones has gone with the twitch tank Steve Binfield has gone with the shed and Sam Ed Edmonds has gone with the cue ball at Coliseum are we getting any closer will we be at season three and still waiting for the name <laughs> I don't know about any of them oh, I was thinking the wishing well was a great song by Terence Trent Darby I like that song do you like the name yeah no no <laughs> <laughs> Rianne are we getting any warmer one of my favourite sayings is head in shed so we've got the shed but no I still think we need some more we've had a lot through. of suggestions for Shredsville we could actually have Shedsville yeah maybe oh. Maybe. Here all night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll have your company this evening as well. Finals night then, week two, season two. Let's find out the rules and what it's all about. Each week consists of 12 players. Eight will play on Monday with the top four progressing to Wednesday. Four new players will join the four Monday losers in a new eight on Tuesday. The top four progressing to Wednesday. On Wednesday, the final eight play down to crown our weekly champion. The format is repeated over eight weeks before our weekly champions contest the grand final. Each night we'll see seven matches around some new and exciting rules. With ball in hand for any foul, the opportunity is there for any player in our 96 field to become the next champion. Good evening, you lovely snooker fans. These are the rules of the 900. A frame consists of 15 minutes, which is your 900 seconds, but players have to contend with a 20 second shot clock. There are no timeouts, but a referee can stop the clock if they think it disadvantages another player. Any foul gives you ball in hand, which allows you to place the cue ball anywhere on the table. If you don't pot a ball, you must hit a cushion. Otherwise, it's a standard snooker foul. 
if at the end of the frame the scores are tied, we enter deadlock and a blue ball shootout will decide the winner. And finally, folks, the break off. After you've made contact with the reds, the cue ball must come past the pink spot. And that's it, folks. Don't take too long. Don't miss. I'm still um, in awe of that blue. Yeah, that first, was, that was Twitch film. first. first <laughs> um, in all seriousness, I mentioned the blue because uh, we'll have a blue ball shootout. We haven't had a deadlock yet. No, nice. I hope we get one it's tonight. Different. It was close last night, it wasn't was, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's. I mean, we pray for it, but it's unlikely. But it happened. How many times did it happen last year? Twice. Ooh, do we have more than two? I can't I remember. It, I think it was twice. All right, fair enough. <laughs> but I mean, it's. It's I'll unlike, take, it's I'll unlikely. take one now. But I'll take one tonight. <laughs> uh, right, our first match then getting underway on finals night. It's Peter Devlin and uh, Aidan Murphy. Uh, Devlin 8 to 13, Murphy 6 to 5. Uh, Peter Devlin, he's got more experience on TV, but I was really impressed with Aidan Murphy. I thought he took to the format like a duck to water. He was so cool. He was so cool. The safety from both of them was good. And then he's knocked in a 61, was it? I think he's had a yeah, 60. Yeah. Did. I, I mean, he's cool as a cucumber because I've spoke. I've just had a chat with him downstairs. I spoke to him. He's nice and cool. I was sweaty hands and he was like really <laughs> calm, like dry hands. Yeah, the one thing I noticed about him was when he was actually making that break, he would never took his eyes off the table. And that's one of the first things you try and teach someone, never take your eyes off the table, especially in this fall about the quick thinking. You already know if that ball goes as you're walking around, etc. Right. Yeah. So okay. he was actually, his eyes was actually on the and ball. And he didn't rush at all, no. did he? He just kept to his pace, kept to the job and he was he was perfect in position all the way through and it Peter Devlin is his opponent but uh, Devlin is favourite of course former professional and I mean we know he loves the limelight doesn't he <laughs> that's what he really missed out during Covid being uh, on tour he didn't get that you know the travel and playing to a live audience so he's going to be right at home but he's a good player and he's he's very dedicated you know he does a lot of, lot, a lot of work on his game so I don't think... Uh, I think he's going to win that match. OK, and we know where Rihanna's is at. She's going with all the outsiders <laughs> this evening, see if we can cop that 40-1 to ACA. So there you go, Peter Devlin, Aidan Murphy to kick off finals night here at the Crucible in Reading. And we'll be back with that right after the break. Good evening, you lovely snooker fans. Welcome to week two, finals night. And we're going to start with Peter Devlin and Aidan Murphy. And I'm joined by 12 times champion of the world, Miss Rihanna Evans. Yes, good evening. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we've had a really high standard, but as I say, tonight is crunch night. This is where you want that name on the board and with a chance to win that £10,000. Yep, and that's a good break off. I think if I won the toss, I don't think I'd break off, you know. It's a tough shot on this table, isn't it? It's a shot that you'd normally play, so I think you should play it. Mm. That's a good shot as well. So you fancy Aidan Murphy here, uh, Rianne? Yeah, I was just really impressed. Um, never seen him play before. Heard a couple of things about his game, and it's just that anyone can play well and twitch them in. But he didn't look edgy or twitchy, or he looked so comfortable. Yeah, he was very calm. The safety was good. And, um... Oh! That could have gone wrong. Yeah, he didn't even look where that blue was going to go, did he? But how well has he played the actual shot, though? Is this his home table? Because the way to this cue ball <laughs> is to the inch. This is what he was like <laughs> on Monday. Was played, that was played nicely as well. Oh, it? Just yeah, a bit unlucky to Cannon the Brown. He caught the red well, didn't he? Yeah. Cued it well. So, it's just the first so chance. So, how are you feeling on this then? Well, we're just about to find out. He struck that so well. 
He's a bit unlucky to, to land there, isn't he? I was going to say, he's left it so awkward, hasn't he? Well, he's just got to chip off this and do the sort of the figure of eight, I think. Right-hand side, three cushions up behind the green. That's it. That's a good shot. That white tight on the cushion, is it? I'll tell you what, he's played it perfectly. <laughs> How good do you want it? It's like a magnet, that top rail. <laughs> No, but he queued that long red, beautiful. Didn't over it again, which is what I was impressed with before. Because under pressure, you can grip that cue a little bit tight. Yeah, but I'm telling you, confidence-wise, though, when you knock those ones in, you know, it, you can't help but think, it's got, it's got to give him confidence. Oh, definitely. So he's left this a little bit awkward. He's played a sort of half bad safety shot, but left it awkward as if he yeah. played it well. I think he's just going to place the cue ball in the corner. Oh! <laughs> well, there's the first mistake. I mean, he's not left a sitter, but he's definitely left a, a couple of reds above and left to the black spot. Maybe a red into the middle. But is he playing safe? I think he'd be playing the red up in with the white to bulk into the middle. Well, that was a good chance. KG, isn't it? This is a big night tonight. Because you play on Monday and Tuesday and you, your focus is just to get through to Wednesday and you know you've got another game, but now you're thinking, I need to win. Where's that red going? Oh, what a fluke. But he still played it well. I mean, look where he's got the cue ball to from there. Uh, and it wasn't a mile away, the pot. But I think he's going to be playing safe here. I don't think... Yeah, he can't uh, get through to the blue, can he? No, you'd be an absolute madman to take the yellow off. If he can get somewhere... That, that phone's close. <laughs> Again, oh. glued, glued to that cushion. <laughs> he's playing some great safety. Yep. This one, I mean, he's, he's been very impressive all in all departments, hasn't he? Yeah, and this is only his second time on TV. Just looks a little pacey. Yeah, okay, he's forced He's forced an error. So that good good safety shot does uh, give him a chance now. So where's your positional shot here then? Will he have to stun through the gap or can he top off the cushion and miss the red? Need a cushion. Oh, he took his eye off the pot. Yeah. That's what happens. He's got. I think he's got the cover. You'd be happy with that. Yeah. I mean, it was a good chance, though, wouldn't it? I think I would have played the in between the red and the black. He went he's too deep, the other didn't side. he? Yeah. He's on the other side. Sandy in it when the red's still rolling and it gives you a few more seconds. You know, the white stopped, you know what you're going to play. It just gives you a few more seconds to gather yourself. Or oh, a little clip off that red would be nice. So he's in again. Okay, he's, he's a couple of shots away of being comfortable, but at least he's got another chance. little bit short but he's okay because he got the brown the blue and the ball colors free so he doesn't want to cannon that red on the side cushion though does he so is that a natural or do you think he's got to dig down on that a little bit or is he happy to cannon it and uh oh see he's done it again oh. and look at this he's got away with it again it could be his night with all these little bit little flicks because you no matter how well you play in this format, you do need that little bit of run of the ball. Oh. I mean, inside inside Peter Devlin's head, he's got to be thinking, come on, mate, give us a chance. Is that a plant there? No. But this is a very clever shot. That's a clever shot. Oh. 
What's your shot there, Rianne? He's in a bit of trouble. He really is. Um, he, c he can't even swerve around the brown because the, the other red's there. The red's there. Oh, he's, he's got to play something. He's going to hit the red. Oh, he's tried to move. He didn't leave himself any chance of getting that shot right at all, did he? No, I mean, I think I might have just played off this with right hand side and try and check it back up, back into the jaws of the pocket. But, you know, if you don't see a shot straight away, it's uh, it's going to be a difficult, a difficult read. So. So he's not got the best angle on the brown, but with the red over the, the corner pocket, he hasn't got to do too much. Is it with that shot? I'd like to have played a heavy top and banana it down the rail. You know, the, you know, you can't miss the brown. He could have got a lot nearer to this because you could even see it with the top spin he played. You saw it sort of just come off there and do a little arc. Yeah, it arcs back round, doesn't it? Yeah. Not sure what he played there. I think he's just tried to get past the black, but hey, this is a nervy one to start the evening. We've only got seven minutes left. It's a very low scoring frame. I mean, the safeties have been really good, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of the odd miss here and there. It's actually nice to see good safety because the last couple of nights we've just been seeing, you know, clearances and 40s and 50s and 60s it's, it's, I mean this has been the best safety we've seen I think with that dumb shot he's always going to leave a shot at something either in the corner or in the middle yeah I think he'll be taking the one in the middle so the, the cue ball is heading into bulk yeah he hit the last one thick didn't he so we caught the top jaw last time. And that one's banging in the middle. Yeah, that was nice. Just a little bit short on pace, though. So, are you chipping the brown in? How do you feel? If you're confident, you're going straight for it, aren't you? Yeah, well, this is to take the lead. So, uh, there's three available reds. Might have overcooked this. See, I would have played that to bounce off the black black cushion because you can hit the ball a little bit firmer. You're more confident strike where he's tried to hold it. It's a little bit of a delicate one. And when you're feeling a little bit under pressure, what he appears to be, it's a bit twitchy, isn't it? Yeah. But he's recovered well there. That and that's not a bad flick off the green. No. It's kept him on the yellow, hasn't it? That was well judged as well. Yeah, very delicate shot. Well, what's the angle like? He'd like to be straight on that, wouldn't he? Screw back to the black in the same pocket. I think oh. it's perfect. Yeah, he's hit that well. And the red at the bottom of the pack goes as well. Yeah, see, he's put the put the red in the left-hand side of the pocket as we look at it. To try and make the angle yeah. a little bit better to just, get just on the black. Just to keep it straighter. Very well played. So he's going to run this black in off two cushions for the red in the corner. You can just see him walking around, composing himself. He seems a little bit nervy, doesn't he? But he's striking the cue ball well, though. I think he looks calmer tonight. He's not rushing. a little bit straight on this black. 
play this with a lot of right hand side. So close to being a it really was, good yeah, shot. I was thinking he's, this is looking perfect, but he's, he's hit it so well. So this, this table is so reactive, though. I had a, a few frames on it earlier, a little practice, and it's so reactive. So responsive. I, know, I was just about to say, if you don't need, if you don't win another world title, is it because I was coaching you? One million percent. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, over, he's overcooked it. Why? Yeah, that's what you call no man's land, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a safety shot coming up now. He's got a good lead now with the balls here. He's got to put the black safe. That's a really sensible shot. Very sensible. But the pink is still there. Yeah, but he didn't want to open the reds up, so he's mm. forcing his opponent to, yep. and then he can play a good safety shot in. And it's going to waste into bulk. Waste another forty seconds. You know, another two visits later. So he's thinking clearly as well. Understand that just keeping a red up up the table away from the high valued colours. But he could have put himself in trouble here. If he plays this pretty quick, he, he could be snookered for one. Oh, it just didn't quite get there. Good effort. Yeah, I don't think there's enough time now. Do Not you? no, no. That's what I mean, if you if you got a good shot on that last one, you might have got a little chance. He's running the clock down. Ooh, he's a little bit late getting down to the shot here. How many how many bings was that? Four? It was close. You only get five. Yeah. Billy Billy sat there in the audience wondering why he's taking that one on. He could have played the one just to the right of the pink and open the reds up. open the reds up and try and land so uh, that's why Billy is uh, having a bit of a scream up down there so that's it now he knows he's picked up the pace he's just gonna so a little bit edgy at the at the beginning but he took control didn't he after Aiden missed a couple of easy pots yep there you go folks there's our first player through to tonight's semi semi-final it's Peter Devlin we get him in the studio straight after this break Back everyone and ladies and gentlemen, your first winner on final tonight is Peter Devlin joining Rihanna and I in the studio. Well done. Uh, you, you were you played that. You were quite clever in that, I think. Yeah, I was quite happy with with um, with how I was thinking. I was left with quite a few tricky thin cuts that I knew were possible frame winners or losers or at least get me in a strong position for the frame. And they all went in. Um, mm. So I can't ask for more. Um, and mentally, I was thinking clearly and I knew where to put the balls at the right times and how long to waste and and it all worked out okay, so I was happy with it. Yeah, because his first long ball, he went clean in the pocket as well. He was just unlucky not to land on the black, and then after that, he started to miss a couple, and then you started to take control. You say a few clever shots here and there, not overthinking, and wait the shot clock going down, so he was in control most of the latter frame. Yeah, I love a bit of a time waste, drop it, <laughs> accidentally <laughs> dropping the chalk. I think I saw that. you tie your shoes uh, the, the, the first night. Yeah, I tied yeah. my shoes. They didn't need tying, <laughs> but, I knew but well no one else needed I to know that. I knew what you were up to. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Peter, uh, who's been watching, cheering you on tonight? Uh, give a shout out to mum and dad. Um, always very, very supportive, and obviously took me around everywhere. And uh, my two clubs that I, I mainly play at, uh, East Enders Snooker Lounge and Walthamstow Working Men's Club, both brilliant clubs and they've both looked after me and you know got right behind me and I appreciate that um, and everyone else all the mandem on the group chat and you know, you know how it is this sounds know, a bit like know. Potmaster now it's like <laughs> and everyone else and everyone else that knows me um, who, what pros are at those clubs who do you be no I don't I hardly play with anyone because it's it's, 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 a, it's a lovely social club but because of it only having two tables it's one of them where you can't really it's priority to the members so if I bring someone unfortunately I can't always get table time so I just practice a lot on my own. I travel to play other people. Um, but recently, it's just been a lot of practice on my own. And um, 
it's, it's not all bad, you know. Mm. I'm, I'm enjoying it, that's the main thing. Good. As long as I'm enjoying it, I don't mind Good. where I am. You go all the way this week? Yeah. Go on, that's it. We see, we need a little bit of fighting talk in here. Congratulations. I'd love to. I'd love to. I've got to be on there. If Josh is on there and I'm not, it's a travesty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like that too. It's spicy. Uh, well done to Peter Devlin, then our first winner tonight. And Peter will play the winner of our next match, which will be uh, Patrick Whelan is uh, the outsider in it. 13 to 8, as you'll see. And Craig Stedman, who was uh, the champion of our mini final on Monday. So uh, very well fancied. Potentially to go all the way, not a this man's got anything to do with it. <laughs> Four to nine then, Stedman the favourite. Let's go back to the arena and back to the commentary box where Billy Castle is now joined by Lee Richardson. Yes, thank you, Rachel. Welcome back for a second quarter final this evening between Patrick Whelan and Craig Stedman. It's another tough one to call again, Lee. Yeah, I mean, he was very cool yesterday, uh, Patrick. Um, but he's playing my tip for the top. Stead's the Steads. Yeah, well, I think we both tipped Stedman at the start of the week, so. But my outsider was Patrick Whelan, so it's a bit of. Oh, it's a big match. It's a big match for you, then, yeah, mate. Yeah, that they've met each other. But, um. You blame Rianne for that draw. <laughs> no, listen, um, they're both very good players. Obviously, Stedman's got a lot more experience, but sometime in this format, Lee, as you know, it doesn't always count experience. No, I mean, it's just been so many shocks, but, um. Yeah, you ca I can't help but fancy the favourites tonight. I just, I'm thinking after last week, all the favourites losing, um, I, I just couldn't get my head around it. I mean, I know anything's possible, but th how often does that happen? Yeah, last week was like I say, all the favourites losing, and then you know some of the turn up for the books we had. You know, we wouldn't have picked Josh Tom at the start of the week to win the event. You know, although he's a very good player in his own right, but he wasn't on anyone's lips to win it. And um, he's proved, like you say, yeah, he's a phenomenal long potter. Yeah. Phenomenal. He gets them out of trouble and it puts players in trouble. You know, players like Josh, because they're such good long potters. They take advantage of the table, Lee, as you know, sometimes. Yeah. He's left the red here, Craig, going for that red there. He didn't mean to push the red on the cue ball, one, I should say, as much as he wanted to there. That, it's not easy, though, Billy. No, it's a tough red. And he'd have to really sort of force it in to create some sort of angle to, to run that round off two cushions. Yeah, this it must be dead traits. You're looking at just stunning the cue ball where it is. That's yeah. why he might be a hit a cushion. He doesn't want to hit the brown full in the face. Oh. 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 Yeah. yeah I know, um, you've got to hit a cushion, folks. Arthur. If you don't pot a ball, you've got to hit a cushion. And I'm talking to the master Billy Castle here who had an absolute nightmare to make last year, didn't you? <laughs> How many times did you not hit a cushion? Three. <laughs> In one game? Something like that. <laughs> no, I thought my cue ball was so good I wasn't going to miss the pot sleeve. <laughs> but it was unfortunate. I was playing safety shots. <laughs> no, I was speaking to Patrick down there earlier on. And um, he did apologise to his girlfriend this morning. He had a bit of... Making up to do Lee after that <laughs> comment last night. Uh, yeah, all, what, all his girlfriends. <laughs> I did say after getting a TV TV uh, appearance, he's going to be very popular. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take on. Um, this could be another one of them games here. It's going to be a tough safety battle early on there, same as the first game. You know, they're both Patrick and Craig. They're not going to give you much. Yeah, I can see this in all the matches tonight, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Or maybe Joe might let his arm go if, well. he, if he gets a sniff of a long shot. Yeah, he's definitely not holding back, is he? Oh, what a pot. He has queued that in, hasn't he? Oh, this is horrible, this black guy. Yeah. He's a bit unfortunate where he's landed there. Yeah, what's it, where's his next red coming from? Oh, well, he's probably... You know, he could... Just roll the black in for the points and try and get a little cannon on a red. You know, the low red of the three there, try and push it towards the middle. But it's Mr. Black. Yeah, it was horrible, wasn't it? It, was, uh, it wasn't nice. After a great pot there, Lee, he was a bit unfortunate where he landed. So. Probably going to go up for the blue here. So you can play it with a bit of asset. Yeah, 
In fact, a minute, that's not a nice table, is it? No. Yeah, I think he tried screwing into the pack there. I believe he tried screwing down the face of like the left side of the pink there, Liam. Yeah, and maybe cl hit those cluster of three, yeah. maybe, and try to make something happen. Or something, there. but um, this is just a safety shot now. This is risky. Oh. I'll tell you what, this is risk. What, oh, I would oh, have oh. just played the red on the cushion just to yeah. kick that against the cushion because then you guaranteed it you in the cushion. It, yeah. That was, my heart was in my mouth then. Yeah, playing that shot though, he has put Patrick in a little bit of trouble there. Yeah? He might have just played a dump shot, a white in the left corner pocket, leaving behind the black. Oh, that's risky though, isn't Very it? Very risky. Very risky. I mean, we, call, we called it Billy, but oh, how well has he played it? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Craig's got to be careful again, Ellie. Yeah, he doesn't want right. this red too thin. He can play this red just underneath the pink. So that's the ball that hits the cushion. <laughs> that's all right, Billy. Oh. Told you. They got it under control. I'm a, you know, before I play Lee Week Five, I'm going to be a nervous wreck. <laughs> It is twitchy in this studio, in, you know, in the comms box, isn't it? You, see, you can't help but want them all to play well. Yeah, and we sort of, you're seeing things happening before it's even happened. Well, that one's well short. Yeah, he's left the red to the middle here. Craig, you know, there's not too much pressure on this. He's not leaving too much after it, if he did miss it. Is it going to check back in, Lee? I don't think so. <gasps> Oh, how has he got away with that? It's nicked the knuckle and run down the rail. You know, obviously, Patrick would be happy that he just missed the pot, to be honest. But he could have quite easily left that red dearly. Does this red go? Well, I think so, because otherwise you'd just be playing safe already. Is there a plant on Lee? Oh! Now, if he hasn't left that, what a result he's had here. If he hasn't read that, well... Is there, oh he's looking at a red to the middle. Oh that's, that looks very tight. No, he's, playing safe. he's playing safe here, mate. Yeah, it's very... I mean, how can you play, split all those reds like that and not leave your opponent one? Yeah, but he's going to be in a bit of trouble now, Lee. You know, one bad shot here. That, that red does not go underneath the black, though, Billy. So that's uh, anywhere down in this bottom corner is, is your safe spot. Who gets a chance in amongst these balls? He's gonna. You know, they're not gonna have to do too much to try and accumulate a few points very it's quick. Good, it's good safety from them both, though, Billy. Yeah, same as the first game. Lee, safety's spot on. It's another good safety shot. This time, has he blocked the shot off where he can play the dump shot? I think he has. Yeah, he has. Yeah, so now oh. it's a tougher shot, Lee. Yeah, getting it back to bulk here, Billy, yeah, is, it is a nightmare, mate. You know, if the if the pot is just as hard as the safety, it might be worth taking the pot on, Lee. And that's what he's decided to do. He's already knocked a nice long red in. Wow, well, he's played it. You know, a, a pace here, he's going to leave everything. And unfortunate for Patrick. He has. Craig's got a great opportunity here. So, where's the black ball going, Billy? It goes on its oh, spot. Oh, it goes on its spot. There yeah. it is there. We've got a little overhead camera here, which is new to the 900 this year, Billy. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's certainly a lot better, especially if you're looking at shots like that. It's okay. I think he can just run this red in and be on the black still or the pink. No, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna screw up the table for the blue, Billy. Well, he's got the pink there to the middle if he can on the reds. And he's oh, he's the missed red. the red! <gasps> wow, he's concentrated a little cannon there to be to be on the pink. My word! Patrick wouldn't have been expecting the chance to give Craig for him to score eightly. No. Wow, what an opportunity this is for Patrick. 
he's got a simple shot on here. Just carrying the red below the black. He's going to be on two reds. One to the right corner pocket, one to the left corner pocket here. Yeah, just drop this in, dead weight. What an opportunity for Patrick. You know, there's a good few points out in the open here, Lee. Yeah, I can't see this going wrong now. I didn't see that miss coming from no. Steads there. He yeah, obviously took his eye off it to concentrate on the cannon, but you know, always remember the potley. Yeah. Yeah, Craig was a heavy favourite for this match too with the bookies. Yeah, well when you're favourite to win the win the week, that's what's gonna happen. But we know Billy, we've seen it a million times. Just a 15 minute frame. Mm, that's not the greatest of shots. Is he top side? I think he, I think he just might, might have just, an angle. He's just top side, Bill. Mm. Right, what's he like with the rest? I think he might reach that. He's quite tall, this lad. Yeah, he's, a, he's tall, lad, Patrick, so. Just come around so if he can reach it, which he can. So just under four and a half minutes left. He's only 13 in at the moment. Guaranteed the blue here. Yeah, he'd like to go in between the brown and green here. Up and down the cushions, uh, the red below the black here. That's a big target he could aim for. But he decided to go the other way there, Lee. Now I'd have played it through the brown and green, up and down the two cushions. Well, a tiny bit of right hand side, maybe? Yeah, just tried to. That's a big target that red below the black was there. He doesn't want to bring a red off a cushion there. He's just having a little look at the scoreboard, checking the time. Devon needs at least six balls, doesn't he? Yeah, that's a nice safety shot as well. <coughs> that's a nice reply from Craig. Yeah, very good. Tap on the table, Patrick. But there's all the 900 league players there, all sat there. <laughs> there's Lyndon. Yeah, we've got Darnell Fisher in tonight as well. He's a professional football player. He loves to snooker. Oh, he does. Wow, he's not gone off, has he, Lee? I think he has. Oh, oh. he's in the cushion. That's Craig smiling, but he ain't happy. <laughs> he's had a couple of them now, Lee, where he's got away with it. So he's flirting with the pocket. Do now, Billy. Come on, pick a book, pick a shot. Well, he could play the red and try and screw back into bulk. I mean, oh, he's just gonna play the dump shot, is he? Cause he's always got a he's chance gonna of leave the gap, he's gonna yeah. leave it through the middle. But for me, Lee, I'd have played the red, like I told you, screw back into bulk. Oh, my word, and he's brought Two another minutes. red into play. He's got. Five reds in the open here. Oh my god. Why is he? Maybe the black don't go. The black doesn't go into that pocket. The black surely goes into that pocket, surely. Yeah, it does. Wouldn't you have just, couldn't you have, couldn't you have just screwed up onto the black? Yeah, but either way, even if you come up to the blue there, Lee, you shouldn't be missing that red. That's two unforgivable shots he's missed in this frame. That's it, I'll be, be saying goodbye to me, me last pundit's pick. Yeah, same. Well, I've got Patrick, the outsider. 
you know, it just shows you how experienced you are. Like we were saying before, sometimes in this format, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You know, like I say, come in Monday, looks ever so good, one knee night. Like it's just a different night. And he looks like he's going to be knocked out. So the favourite. Yeah, and it hasn't been a good performance from Patrick, though, either, has it? No, it's been very edgy. You know, he's going to have to play better than this to beat Peter Devlin in the semi finals. Lee. Yep. So there is absolutely no chance of winning this this frame now. Oh. Yeah, I think an handshake will be coming shortly, Lee. No. He's just picked his he's mini picked butt his up. Mini butt. <laughs> So there we have it, folks. Patrick Whelan will join Peter Devlin in the semi-finals. There's the handshake. We will be back for you shortly after the break. Welcome back and a very good evening if you're joining us for the first time. It's finals night at the 900 and our latest winner is uh, Patrick Whelan. Congratulations. Thank you. How is it tonight? Is it feeling a little bit different yeah, down there? A little more bit nervous. more serious? Yeah, a bit, bit more. It was... Not as enjoyable as yesterday, but <laughs> I think that that's because the frame went a little bit that way. I got a bit of run here and there. But you know, I was a bit twitchy from both of you, though. It, was, you yeah. know, it wasn't just you. Did you did you feel more nervous? I was a lot more relaxed before than yesterday, but um, once I got playing, I was could tell that he was a lot more serious than yesterday, and so uh -huh. was I. But yeah, luckily I got over the line. Well, it's serious business. Uh, it is finals night, but a place uh, in the grand final up for grabs. Mm. And uh, we, we like to say it every night because it's um, it's a really big thing we're proud of. The biggest money in, in amateur snooker this event. Oh, yeah, it's massive. Just because it's, you know, one frame, 20 minutes, it, it doesn't mean that it's not important. You still want to do well. It's just treating it as a good opportunity rather than, you know, dying to win. Just enjoy it one ball at a time. Yeah. And keep going you must have jumped out <laughs> jumped off of that stall when and he missed that red just near the pink spot when he was playing the cannon yeah. for the pink in the middle because you can't have been expecting to come to come back to the table ever no no I, I didn't think i'd come back to the table when i um took a plant on and i opened the reds but luckily i got away with it again in yeah, like a couple of shots but at the same time when he missed that i was like right i've got to make something here because you can't you're not going to get many more opportunities with the clock running down so yeah no that was a good visit because we yeah, said it, he said he got, I said he's got away with it. How can you leave yeah. that many reds? The cube in the middle of that many reds. So listen, that you need a, in this format, you need that little bit mm. of luck. It could be your night because you know it's, it's you. You just need a little bit, yeah. and, you and, you're, and your you're solid enough. Yeah, you you play a great solid game. Lovely Thank cue you. action. Um, he's got a chance. Are you impressed? Yes, yeah. very. I thought that Thank suitably you. impressed. Uh, you're going to be playing Peter Devlin next. All oh, right, I didn't know. Have you so. played him before, practiced with him? Um, I've never practiced with him. I've played him a couple of times in tournaments, I think. Um, he's beat me a couple of times. I beat him a couple of times, but looking forward to it again. He's all fighting talk. He's going to win tonight. Oh, is he? Yeah, but you're not <laughs> surprised. No, no, I've heard it all before. <laughs> uh, right, well, I like it. He's beaten you a couple of times. You've beaten him a couple of times. That's the match we'll be looking forward to. Uh, our first semi final this evening. Good luck. That's Thank a you. little bit of way, way a while away. You're welcome. Well done. Uh, George Pragnell up next against uh, Onyi. George Pragnell 4 to 6 up against Onyi 11 to 10. They're the odds. A time still if you want to back whichever player you fancy. For us, it's to the arena and back to Rianne Evans and Billy Castle in commentary. Thank you, Rachel. So, on you versus George Pregnell. I'm really looking forward to this one. Obviously, I put a tweet out cheering on on you, and George wasn't happy, was he? But I just hope it's a great game from both. Yeah, certainly, Rianne. I mean, it's going to be a good game. On you is very impressive the first night. Obviously, George Pregnell come back in one week, uh, night two, I should say, last night. So, they're both in a bit of form. Mm, that's a decent break off by Onyi as well. And in these sort of frames, you want to put the pressure on your opponent quite early on, even if it's with a 20 or a 30 break or good safeties. Just puts them under pressure that little bit more, doesn't it? Yeah, certainly. I mean, you get in with a little 20 or 30 break in this format, it's absolutely massive, believe it or not, because the other player, at some point, they got to start chasing you and going for a few and get them out of their comfort zone. You know, and like I said, I spoke to George earlier and he knows the majority of the people will be on, on the side <laughs> cheering her on. So he, he's fully aware of that. 
yeah, he was always going to face that, wasn't he? Um, playing three-time world champion on you. She's got a lot of fans, a lot of supporters. She's a lovely girl. He's away, quite a way away with that pot there. Yeah, he's very lucky he didn't double kiss the white there. Oh, he has left a red on in the both corner pockets here. Both with a risk though, aren't they, Bill? Yeah. Yeah, if she misses, she's guaranteed to be leaving one. Yeah, she's hit that very thin Rianne. And she's left the red. See, she was thinking she didn't want to cannon that other red over where I'd rather hit that red than leave the one in in bulk, but left a chance for George now. Yeah, this is going to slide position. as well. It's going to land on the red. It should be on the pink, though. Yeah, very tricky cue there, Rianne. These are not nice shots at all. No, he's played that well, though, hasn't he? Yeah, he's played that nice. That one. Just a little confidence boost to them little shots early on. They settle you down a lot. Yeah, they're not easy bridging over a ball, but knowing with this table, because it's I had a little game on it earlier, it's really reactive, so you haven't got to over it that either. Yeah. To come back for that red, so. Yeah, I mean, I've watched a bit down there, and you know, the cloth and that looks absolutely rapid. And there he is, the great man himself. I still say he misses competing, Rianne. Yeah, he was fetching the balls out for me earlier on. And he, and he, he was picking up my cue and he was going, oh, I really miss this. <laughs> I, re I really want to pick my cue up again. I mean, you know, we've all been around a long time and different things, but once you come to a tournament and, and you're not playing, it just gives you that bug. Even when I'm sat down at home watching, you know, watching a tournament, you just want to go to the club and hit a few balls. That's what it does to you. Yeah, definitely. It's always going to be in your blood, isn't it? It's in your veins. Yeah. It's, uh, you can have a, a little break, but you always want to edge back towards having a, a little game, even if it's for your friends there in the club or something. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I mean, I always say I'm going to have a month off, and after a week I'm bored. He's going along nicely, clearing the loose reds. He wants to be careful that if he does play up the blue ear and try and go into the pack, if there's a plant on somewhere. Yeah, he just got to be careful. I mean, he could play it off for a ball colour and try and pop the side cushion into him. That's what I was going to say. I think I prefer to go wide and come in from the, s the side yeah. cushion. Yeah, that's what he's playing. He's got a good angle here on the on the yellow. I mean, these cushions do skid as well, Rianne, so you don't have to overdo it with the sides. As long as he got close to the middle pocket there, he's going to be fine. Just caught that top red a bit too full, didn't he? Yeah, it? I mean, I thought if he aimed a little bit towards bit closer to the middle pocket and pushed it into the middle a bit. But he will settle for this because he's touching ball. He could put a colour safe here. And he's in control, isn't he? He's playing the next shot, so... Although that's not the best shot he could have played. No, I'd have put a... Pushing the colour on the, on the cushion here, Rianne. Yeah, in this format, it is quite big getting the colour safe. For me, I think the safety shot would have been harder the yellow side. Yeah. Rather than the green side. So... Rian, on not Rian, on ye, I should say, will be opening these balls up here, and it's a it's a clever shot, really, because he's said to George, "I'm going to open the reds up here, and if I get a chance, I'm there to capitalise." Yeah, it's sending out a nice signal, isn't it, of leave me in, and I fancy making oh big mistake Ooh. there. Yeah, George needs to hit that top red thinner than that. So on you's got a chance there. See, she's just playing a little bit quick. Yeah, she's got more time than she thinks. You know, 20 seconds is a long time. But what a lovely pot that was. That sounded really nice hitting that, that leather, didn't it? No, she timed that absolutely perfect round. Yeah, beautiful shot. See, she can play down there. She's got quite a few, few reds on top of the black here. I've been tempted to get closer to the reds there we are on top of the black. I, th I think she's played it quite well because I think she can try and get on the pink maybe and so it's not as congested. Yeah, she could pop this red and obviously stun across the face of the other red here. She's got a great chance though. Well, she's taking the more difficult red on. 
very well played. Yeah, she's just trying to make it a bit less congested, make it easier. This is a great chance. She looks very comfortable. I you know, I can see her clearing these reds up to Rianne, to be honest. And putting pressure on her straight away, Bill, and look what you've made her do. Oh, that is a, it's a poor shot, really, to land near the cushion. She put herself under unnecessary pressure. Yeah. she got to keep all of her the body parts still. The only thing is, yeah, she's just got to stay down on the shot. Great shot. Absolute great shot. That's an absolute great shot. She's here to win, I think, Bill. Yeah, definitely. Listen, I'm very impressed with her the other night. She was absolutely wonderful. That's why I'm surprised you won the UK again. <laughs> <laughs> I had my lucky time, Bill. That's what it was. <laughs> no, like, she's great for the women's game. and yeah. Just like yourself, she's she's a good role model. I just think she lo looks so much more dangerous playing faster. Yeah, well, to be honest, I know we've had a lot of top players in there, but no one's looked as dangerous as on Yi in the balls when she does get around the black with her control and how she looks. She looks like she's going to clear the table every time she comes to the table. The thing with on Yi is she absolutely loves playing, competing, practicing, meeting people, travelling. She just loves everything about it. So being invited to this, it's like another challenge for a different format. So she just... She just thrives in that environment. Yeah, um, she's on about. She's got to go to Australia again next. Yeah, that's the next ladies' event in Australia. I won't be going, but um, I know one year, and I think maybe Mink and a few others are going. Yeah, well, she's playing for ranking points on the ladies' tour, so she's in absolutely everything. She's in the Q Tour in Germany as well. I know that. So she's all over the place. It's a good job she loves travelling, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she said she absolutely <laughs> loves it. You know, different countries, different environments. But she's going along really well here. This is a great break. Apart from that one shot where she left herself near the cushion, she's looked total control of this. Yeah, this has been brilliant so far. I mean, that red would have settled her down, though. I'm sure she's in any nerves at all. It's nice how still she's staying on a shot as well. She's playing that, you know, I don't know. Watch her a few times around, but this pace really suits her. I do think she's playing a little bit quick, but she probably thinks that she's so out of comfort zone. She's just getting down and seeing the first ball, but she's spending more time on the shot rather than looking for the shot, and I yeah. think that's the way to do it. So she can do a normal routine on the shot. It's just not looking around the table, questioning what you're going to do. She's yeah. just seeing the ball. I'll tell you what, I'm not, I don't want to talk too early, but she could be the Irish break, yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking that myself. <laughs> I mean, she's got a big crowd in tonight as well, Rianne. They've come out of, they've all come out of the woodwork here for her to watch her. That's another thing, she wouldn't be phased by that. She's played in, in front of thousands, do you know what I mean? So she's used to all that as well. Yeah, I was, I was told she had a... As many as 10,000 in Hong Kong watching her. Yeah, it was, it was a massive venue, wasn't you know, it? So and playing the best players in the world as well. Incredible. Left herself not perfect on this, but nice enough. She was never missing that, Rianne. No, never, no. That's perfect on this red. Absolutely perfect. Looks like she's going back up for the blue area. Yeah, I think she's got slightly too much angle on it. And she's top side of the blue air. She would have liked to have been a lot closer. I mean, that's you could just tell by her body language. That yeah, but that's probably not too bad because now she can play the red on the side cushion because I think it's a natural angle. Yeah, she can drop in behind that red. Yeah. If she hits it too hard, she might have it to the corner. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This has been brilliant. I mean, poor George. This is the red, though. If this goes in, I think we'll see the century. Yeah. He knows he, he was up against it tonight, and uh, she's looked absolutely brilliant. Great. That's a great shot. Perfect. I mean, do we have a new favourite for the tournament? Look at Look Lee. Look at the shirt, loving it. Look at <laughs> Lee. He's going to get an autograph in a minute. <laughs> Wow, it's
it's on. This pot, this good position on the colour, and you go after fancy, don't you? You have to fancy the clearance. Nothing at all, George. Could Absolutely do about this. Absolutely inch perfect. You know, for me, she's just gone favourite for the tournament round. Oh, she was always favourite. She's won more picks. What are you on about, Bill? Well, <laughs> you did call her. Oh, she's over at this. No, this could be perfect. The way she got up, I thought she did it too hard. Yeah, I mean, this cloth, it just shows you how yeah. quick it is round. Cause yeah. On a lot of tables, that would not have got near that. You yeah. know, the way she did it. I thought she was up off the shop because she thought yeah. it hit bad. Because she did the black thick into the pocket. Yeah. This is incredible. And she was worried about this format with the 20 second shot clock. Oh, wow. This is fantastic to watch. You know, this is. This is going to do wonders for the ladies game around as well. You know, all these people watching her live on television knocking in if she gets the under break. Exactly. This is what we want to see, more women playing snooker. Yeah. It just shows you the standard at the top of the ladies game is so good. And on news producing tonight, obviously. Is so it's all about if you get the right occasion, the, the right moments to perform. Yeah. And you can perform in that environment. It's all there, isn't it? I mean, I watched her in the World Doubles last year and she pulled out an incredible clearance. Probably, was it you against you and Ronnie? She yeah, it was. She a big clearance yeah. as well, so she's very good under pressure. So this pink is for the, the century. It's in. Yeah. What a fantastic break. Wow. <laughs> she's loving it, look. She's even smiling. Come on, just pop the black and get the iris break on you. Look at Lee. He's waiting for the autograph. Yes. That is absolutely fantastic. What a... What a great break. Well done on you. And that's on you through to the next round. We'll be back shortly after the break. Oh, great to have your company. And I bet you enjoyed that. Uh, finals night is alive. And uh, what a wonderful <laughs> display. Congratulations on you. That was Thank just you. magical. I had goosebumps. It was fab. <laughs> really, really good. Thank you. What was it like for you? How were you feeling? Yeah, feeling great. Definitely. <laughs> Still feeling so excited. Because uh, while I left less than the chance I thought oh it might be it could be finished uh -huh. because it was a good chance there and then until I have a chance so yeah I just try to focus on every shot and just play the simple one and then until I starting to uh, get over him and then I just okay let's keep this keep it simple <laughs> yeah, because he got in first, he controlled it. He played yeah. a really good safe shot, but then your safe shot was clever. Your twenty split up the ball. Yeah, so. very aggressive safe shot, but you got a very good white, put him under pressure, and eventually you got your chance. And yeah. it was first class break, oh. absolutely top notch. The Thank only you. the only one shot that you had mm. was a little bit missable. You you overscrewed the, oh, the yeah, black and you landed yeah. tight on the cushion. cushion yeah. yeah, but apart from that, it was absolutely sublime, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. We <laughs> was like. Wah! <laughs> we were, we have to say, and um, nothing against George Pragnell. Um, I think he had the world on his shoulders. He said last night, he's like, oh, it's, it's going to be a very tough game because everyone will want on you to win. Um, but <laughs> we, we, more under pressure. Yeah. we always try it not works. to be biased, but we really wanted you to make the century break and uh, such a great platform, you know, live on TV. I don't know whether they'll be watching in Hong Kong. Uh, I know yeah, there's a couple of supporters here. Coming, yeah. Yeah. Some people from Hong Kong, they, they come, here, come in here and watch it here. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> what time you. is it in Hong Kong right now? Uh, 6 a.m. Uh -huh. Well, good morning, the early risers. And yeah. I spoke to your coach, uh, David Rowe, uh, yesterday. Oh. Yeah. What did he say? He <laughs> said... <laughs> <laughs> He's very proud of you. Uh, actually, we were chatting about uh, maybe bringing in the 900 kind of format, maybe a little bit more in your coaching. Because oh. it, it looks like you've really benefited yeah. from maybe yeah. playing a little bit quicker perhaps? yeah sometimes it could be uh, when i feel under pressure i could overthink a lot and then starting to get negative and uh -huh. then yeah it kind of like uh 
put me off a bit, yeah. Yeah, because in this format, was obviously commentation on that break there, mm. you didn't take any time picking which shot you wanted to play, but you played your natural game, queuing. Yeah, so yeah. it was just l less looking around, questioning what you wanted to do. You just got first, saw the first shot. Yeah, it helped me it. to think yeah. simple, mm. yeah. Did you feel that you came in last night, actually? I saw I was driving out of here, at, I don't know, it must have been one o'clock or whatever, <laughs> and I could see yourself and, and your coach, David, walking home. I thought, oh, she's been here all night. Were you practising or just kind of soaking up the atmosphere? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just kind to um, uh, feel the atmosphere and watch some games because I, I find this game is quite um, entertaining yeah. and I love snooker. That's why I stay here yeah, to watch others. Amazing. On you, it's even more entertaining now. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Uh, what an absolute trooper. Uh, congratulations to uh, On Yi. And of course, we'll be finding out who she plays uh, next and uh, what a crackerjack match this will be. Uh, Joe Johnson, the uh, 1986 world champion against a, a former world seniors champion in Lee Walker. One to two. And of course, the prize is to play on Yi next. <laughs> so who will come through? Let's find <laughs> out. Back to the arena we go. Welcome back, snooker fans. What a third quarter final we've had there, Billy. Absolutely incredible, Lee. You know, it was absolutely brilliant. I mean, when she was tight on that side cushion for that red, it's it's one of the best cued shots of the... It is the shot of the championship for me. Yeah, of course. And then she was grade A position all the way through that break. Well, you know yourself, Lee, they're one of the harder shots to play. You've got to keep every part of your body still. Your head's got to stay still. She, was like, through. she was like a statue, mate. Yeah, and, um, and you know, to go on and make 108 clearance, incredible. I mean, she's an incredible talent anyway, so... I mean, that's the first time I've been down there to have a watch, Billy, and the table is it runs so quick. Okay, but back to this match, because uh, we've just had our first mistake there from Joe. Yeah, he's hit that red a bit thick. He's caught the knuckles of the pocket there, and he's got a first chance. He hasn't got to do too much at all here with the cue ball. Just don't want to get close to the left cushion there, so he's got to play it a little bit aside. Well, he's played back off here for a ball colour. Mm. Yeah, I thought I'd been tempted to just stay around the black. Yeah, well, I, I definitely would have, but uh, I'm just greedy. <laughs> and maybe it wasn't as easy as it looked on the screens to go for the black. It is definitely diff di different looking on the screen than it is down there live. So it's, yeah. just, it's unbelievably quick, Billy. Well, I, I mean, you've been you've been telling me because you you down you down there to watch the first uh, match while while I'm up here working with Rianne. And uh, you keep telling me how quick it is, and yeah. that's the first time I've seen it live, and it is deadly quick. Yeah, the ball just doesn't stop; it just keeps running and running. I mean, the safety shots—they barely touch them, you know—and they're getting back to the ball cushion with ease. It just doesn't stop running, uh, Lee. So, Lee's got a nice little chance to get thirty on the board here, mate. Yeah. Simple little shot here for Lee, just to pop the black on off the cushion for the reds. Nicely played. You know, will he be tempted to pop this finish low on the black lead and go into them few reds now? And he's got two reds already open. Yeah, that's what I'd be playing, Billy. Just want to land sort of parallel with the black to the cushion. Yeah. That's what he's playing, I think. He's just a little bit high, is he? Yeah. So that shot now, he would have to force the angle a bit. So he's not guaranteed to bring too many reds into play with that shot. Oh, he's played a beautiful. Ah, that's a great shot. He's got oh, the cue ball absolutely perfect there, Lee, and got the bite on it. Yeah, he stunned it up, and then that little bit of screw just as he's hit the pack. Brilliantly played. So now that 30 points is looking like a lot more. Yeah, all of a sudden Joe Johnson will be worried. Yep. Okay, he's a class player, Lee. Royal Amateur Champion, World Senior Champion. You know, he's been to the Crucible Fair, Lee. That's, that's no mean feat in itself, yeah. is it? Quarterfinals, I think, in the World Championship. Yeah. I know he has struggled with his back in recent years. He's had a lot of trouble with... Yeah, we've had a good talk about it tonight. Yeah. Um, and he had a he had a problem with it. He had the same op as I did, but mine was in my neck. His was in his lower back. And then he had a problem a few years ago. Uh, and he went to see... Um, is it Brian F Fox? Brian Cox. Cox, that's yeah. it. 
and he said he sorted him out in one session. He said he couldn't believe it. Yeah, so Brian Cox, he's absolutely brilliant. I think he, he sponsors Gary Wilson and Elliot Slasher as well. Yeah. But yeah. he's he's well known, Brian. He's a brilliant bloke and he does a great job. You know, everyone that's been there is you know, they say how good he is and rave about what he's done to him and stuff, so he's uh he's obviously yeah. very good. And he's and he's never looked back since, so look he's been just been playing all the t- all the time now. Obviously goes everywhere with Mark Williams and uh I think life's good for them both, you know, they have a good bit of banter. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Mark Williams is home watching this tonight, Lee, and if he is... Yeah, he knows he's one visit here. Well done today, Mark, on your win. Oh, that's finished nicely, is it? Yes, the red goes above the black. Back-to-back centuries could be Billy. Oh, wow. He's going to break on these out here and get the highest break. Is there a highest break, though? Well, if there's not, Jason's going to have to <laughs> dig into his pocket. Maybe Mark Williams could sponsor the highest break. Well, when, when he wins the British Open this week, Lee, I'm sure he will. Well, Mark is going to have something to say about that. <laughs> He's got to have something to wow. say about that. I mean, straight away, you just get the rest out and play the red above the black, little cannon. If you can't sc- screw it past the little cannon on the black, it was it was ABC. But he's he's thought about it a bit too long, and then, then he's run out of the time to get the rest. That's what I'm thinking. Wow. Maybe it's the right shot. He just wants to get Is he on this red, though? Cause I think Joe might have got this safe. So that poor shot by Joe might have... He's going to have a red below the black here. Is it a big pocket, Billy? I don't think it is, Lee, no. I don't know. If he hits it thin enough on the overhead... Oh, I see. He's needed, he needs to hit it thinner than that. And he's left the red over the middle pocket. So there's a chance for Joe here now. The reds are in a nice position, Lee. Yeah, just nine, nine minutes nine as well. Nine and a half minutes, yeah. He's just... The black goes there, having a quick walk around. It's tight on our overhead camera, Lee. Yeah, well, I'm looking now. I don't you know. On I'm our other sure. camera, it looks like it does go, but on the overhead, it looks like it's touch and ball. I'm not sure the black goes, you know. Yeah, and that's why he's not played for it. But he's landed on his favourite long blue. Yeah, this is guaranteed, then. <laughs> it's over the pocket, Billy. He's 1 to 100 on this. <laughs> He just don't miss them, does he? Well, he never even feathered. He just queued up. <laughs> so, he needs to st- get top side of the blue here to come down and play the red above the black first. There's a little bit of body movement in that one. I mean, you fancy more for the long shots, Lee, than you do the reds over the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the, the movement was to sort of get that white ball just above, you know, get it there. Well, thanks for the coaching lesson, Lee. I'm not, I'm not going to try that. <laughs> oh, has he got a nice cannon? Has he left that to the middle? I think he is on. Oh, he's looking at a long red lee, so you know, he's more than likely to pot this. Yeah, that was a tough shot there. Lee. I mean, I've been tempted by the red to the middle there, I think. Yeah, if it, if it went, I mean, I couldn't really see on the overhead either if that, if that did go, but it did look like it, you know, first glance. Oh, he's left this, is he? He needs that red to get down on the bottom cushion, Lee. He's okay. So Joe might have a play the open a few more reds up here. Yeah, he's been catching these a little bit thick, hasn't he? So be careful he doesn't push the red over the just pocket. Aim a little bit thinner. There he goes. And he's brought the black into play as well, Lee. Caught it fractionally thick, though, Billy. Yeah, but he's he he set off for that, Lee. Um, oh, yeah, he's got cover. So this is risky, Billy. Yeah, he's got to be catch this perfect. Well, there you go, Lee. 
Well, he's already gone in off, and he hasn't. Look at, look at his face. Has he left a red to the middle, though? I don't know, but everyone's laughing down there. Well, he's got away with one there, because if that wasn't in off, it's ball in hand. Oh, well, he's, Joe's obviously going to go for this. Surely he has. Oh, that's very unlucky. And that could be game over, Lee. Yeah. Lee, yeah, Lee's got away with one there. That's a poor shot he played. Yeah, well, I said it was risky, you know. And, uh, he had two reds there to miss. If he hits it thin, he cannons the other red. Is it a thick, he hits the other red. Yeah, it's yeah, it very tough. He had to hit that. He had to be inch perfect for that shot. Oh, this is a great chance. He's played that perfect. He's just going to stun this blue in, play for the any of the four reds that are there around the black spot. I mean, I can't see him failing to win the frame at this visit, really. No, he's got a 37 point lead here as well, Lee. Five and minutes left. It's a great opportunity. You just need to take his time, go about his business. He's landed on top of that red. Oh, that He's okay. Yeah. He didn't need to play that, though, Lee, because he could have been touching ball and not on this black. I was, I was just... You know, I just thought he'd automatically... He's held the spot there. I thought he'd automatically just stun down. Yeah, just back up for the blue, Lee. You know, he's got to do nothing with the cue ball, just pop the red. Pots a way of winning this league. Yeah, certainly. It's been great having Joey this week. The Lee's come in, put the hours in, and he's been great around. You know, some of the some of his pot and reel this week have been unbelievable. If we put them all together, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of the long pots he's potted. Very comfortable victory for Lee Walker. That's going to be a good game, Lee, in the semis. Oh, I mean, the semis do look good. Peter Devlin, Patrick Whelan, and then on Yi against Lee Walker. Yeah. Well, I mean, on tonight's performance so far, obviously, on Yi's got to be favourite, Lee. You know, she's going to be absolutely buzzing with confidence as well. But, you know, Lee's. Like I say, Lee Walker's got the experience and what a game that's going to be. Yeah, well, I, uh, I watched that I watched that 100 break live with uh, Dave Brower, coach. I bet he loved it. Ah, he's, he's saying I wouldn't have potted that in 1984. I'm thinking he didn't miss anything in 1984, <laughs> Dave Brower, I'm telling you. <laughs> wow, what a shot. I think he was feeling more pressure than on you. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I can, you know, I find it more nervous watching people than actually playing, you know, especially as close as he is with on you, a coach, and goes around the world with her. I can imagine he was feeling it. But she produced, and it's going to be a great semi final matchup with her and Lee. You know, what a game that's going to be. So there we have it, folks. We've got our semi-final lineup. Lee Walker beats the 1986 champion of the world, Joe Johnson, and we'll get Lee in the studio next. Semi-final lineup complete then, and the final player to make it is Lee Walker. Joins us now, beating Joe Johnson. Congratulations, uh, beating you. a legend in Joe. Um, I suppose any ball you left that was long at all, he was. You were expecting him that he might not even knock it in. Yeah, I was watching him. He was practicing for the, like the last hour, and then he was putting long balls up. And I was watching. He never missed one. I was like, <laughs> please don't take that into the game, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, very composed break and a nice performance you must be pretty happy with that yeah yeah it played okay it didn't feel great man i gotta be honest but they went in the pocket so it's uh 
Yeah, well, yeah, we I'll did give that. you a bit of stick in the comms box because we thought the red went above the black, which obviously it did. And obviously, I, I forgot how tall you were. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, it was. Uh, it was so going to be a bit of a stretch that one. <laughs> so Mark is going to give you a driving about that because uh, I said whatever, he would. So yeah, you know, yeah, expect something. something from. I you. saw a video that Mark tweeted. Uh, I think it was this morning. It might have been the afternoon, and it looks like you were got a bit of practice with the rest i was thinking maybe you wouldn't even want to use the rest again after yeah, yesterday yeah we, we uh we did have a bit of a laugh this morning i said put the shot up we'll have a, we'll have a laugh over it now so <laughs> any chance to take the mick out of me he's uh 100 all over it so but he's also very complimentary he's always said that you know you're the best coach yeah, in the world well yeah which well, is true and yeah. it, to be fair coming from <laughs> mark that's a pretty big <laughs> and talking about being the best coach in the world you're going to be playing on you next, oh, and you've spent so much time with her, nourishing her career. How do you feel about this one? Uh, well, I think I've already been told I can never go back to Hong Kong again <laughs> if I win. So, uh, yeah, I just it'd be lovely to play. I was really pleased for her. She just made a brilliant break, and you know, over the moon for her. Um, I hope she doesn't do it in the it next It was game. a brilliant break, though, wasn't it? I mean, well, I was down there with you. I saw you. We both looked at each other. Yeah, it was like brilliant. We were like, giving it that one. Uh, any good? Yeah, yeah. The, the red the red uh, she queued off the rail. The red she dropped in on about 24, you know. She let awkward red. It was all or nothing and great shot. You know, yeah. Fair play. Yeah. Well, let's, hope she do, let's hope she doesn't do it in the next game. Well, look, <laughs> it's, um, as you say, and, and it's, it's kind of a weird one because obviously you're the old player snooker player former professional you're going to be the ultra uh, competitor uh, but f to see her do so well and, and I mean you must have spent a lot of time with Ony, um obviously off the table as well personally obviously travelling with snooker and everything she's just such a tonic I mean she came in here her personality her positivity it's just a joy to, to talk to yeah she I mean I've said it to everyone she is just she is just a lovely girl isn't there's no, no other way to say it she's just you know she's always the same no matter where she is what she's doing she's just always the same she's just lovely um you know, always upbeat. She's, you know, never gets too down on herself. And, you know, she just, she is a really nice girl to be around and to be with. But you want to beat her? Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pressure will be on. Oh, uh, it's certainly a again, yeah, semi final yeah. we cannot wait for. Uh, but up first, uh, we'll be looking forward to Peter Devlin and uh, Patrick Whelan. Well done again, Lee. We'll see you. you very soon in our second semi final. And just a, a quick check on the odds for you Peter Devlin, 4 to 6, the favourite. And Patrick Whelan, he's 11 to 10. So it's Devlin expected, but it is the 900 and. Anything can happen. Let's go back to the arena and back to the commentary team. Thank you, Rachel. So we've got our first semi-final and we have Peter Devlin and Patrick Whelan. Patrick, not as well known as Peter, not as much experience, but he's, he's played really well. This is going to be a very close one, I think. I can't really call this one. What do you think, Lee? Sorry, folks, they're just dealing with a scoreboard issue. But I think it's all sorted now. So... Patrick to uh, start us out in our first semi-final. I think they still having a few problems with the scoreboard. So they're not sure what the problem is with the scoreboard at the moment. So, so we're just going to go back to the studio with Rachel while they try and sort out the fault with the scoreboard. Over. <laughs> Blue ball shoot out. 
So we're going to just come away there. Um, not entirely <laughs> sure. I don't think we've, we've, we've had this um, instant um, in the 900 so far. We've had the scoreboard error and uh, they've already broken off. So do they play from where the balls are? Um, so there's probably decisions, I guess, that, that need to be made. You should know the rules. Listen, it's, it's live TV. Anything can ha happen. Um, but I think what they'll do is they'll have a re-rack. So they'll, they'll sort the problem, make sure it's all running, just do a re-rack. And while I get this waistcoat done into Velcro, because the amount of times he's just had me doing the buttons up and down, up and down I'm knackered. Well, but as long as you're OK. OK, that's this all that matters. This is like, you know, we've had a technical issue and we're joined finally I think, tonight. I think it's fixed. We are waiting for updates. Um, very quickly, we've got to reflect on, on what we've enjoyed so far oh, tonight. I, I mean, obviously, we're going to be looking forward to, to Lee Walker and Anyi. Um, Anyi, uh, she's been the star. I mean, she was the star on Monday. Uh, she didn't win the group on Monday, but uh, I mean, uh, the century break. She's also Nick Barry Pinch's highest break. Yeah, she played brilliant Monday, and tonight has just topped it off. Because uh, you, you know it's not a fluke, and we know it's not a fluke. She's three times world champion. So, uh, But... Yeah. That 100 break, I was down there. That table is running like glass. And the the red she's, uh, sorry, yeah, the red she's cue queued off the cushion was so perfect, uh, I couldn't see her missing there and then. And I was I was stood with uh, David Rowe, and uh, I said, this is a ton. This is a ton here. And she just, uh, and that's, when you know in the back of your mind that you shouldn't really miss, that creates its own pressure. Mm. And she held her nerve like it was just, they were all over the bag. It's hard to do because, you know, to, to look so cool and look so calm because she came in here and she's like, I didn't feel that way. And and you can, but I think maybe there is there a knack in that to but maybe look uh, as if you're she feeling gives, a lot cooler. She gives it off that she's calm as calm as you like. Listen, every player will tell you. Some players have got a knack like that, but it doesn't matter if it's Ronnie O'Sullivan making a 147 in five minutes. It, even he's feeling it. You know, and she, but she didn't make it look like that. No, she was class. It was class break. Absolutely class, and of course. I um, hope she pumps Lee Walker. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was quite funny, wasn't it? Lee saying, "I can never go back to Hong Kong." I mean, if I'm defeated on Yi, uh, but he's going to be proud. And obviously, our coach David Rowe, uh, a good player himself, a former professional, he's been in the, the top 16 uh, for three consecutive seasons. And um, for for him to be looking on, I mean, they came here last night. I mentioned she was soaking up the atmosphere. Really, you know, just becoming in. Involved in the format, involved in the tournament. That's so important. It's, he was feeling it down there. He was feeling it. And he was one of the best amateurs. I and mean, he was a very good pro. But he was one of the best amateurs ever. So it, for him to sit there going, oh, no, what's she doing? Oh, no, don't go for this. Uh, you know, he, he's like that down there. And, he's, and I said, well, she's cued the first red in. Yeah. It, was a, it was a tough enough mm -hmm. shot. She's, she belted it down sort of close to the cushion, off the cot, for the blue. Beautiful but break. also with, with the head as well, because um, actually that attacking safety shot were all the balls. She opened them all up if she was to get the chance, and that was crucial. Yeah, I mean, this is what you got to do. This, if you're going to be a good player, that's what you got to do. OK, right. Um, we had a little mini break, but uh, we needed to reflect on that amazing performance from on you uh, earlier in the show. Uh, for us now, back to the arena we go, and they have um, managed to re-rack here. So re-rack for a first semi-final. Peter Devlin up against uh, Patrick Whelan. Uh, back to you, Rianne. Hi, thanks, Rach. Yes, a little technical area, and to make it fair on the players, because we we couldn't go back to the the time that had gone in the frame. To make it fair to both players, we've started and re-racked. So it's Patrick really in the first semi-final to break off. So this is going to add a little bit of pressure on the players. They've started had to restart, and it puts puts different pressure on you, but should be okay nice and composed early on in this frame and the shirt's very busy tonight as he joins me back in the commons box honest velcro is the way forward for me next waistcoat but um the reason they've had to have a re-rack is because uh, the time keeps ticking and there's no way to start it again at the s you know referee gets chance to stop the clock so you couldn't you just can't start it again from where it was because the the time keeps going down so uh, anyway the re-rack it is um i don't think anyone's that concerned no but patrick actually made a really good break off didn't he <laughs> but um and then did he just hit the blue and then he hit the blue so <laughs> it'd be fuming inside <laughs> but look it's, it's cost it's cost nothing no exactly start start afresh so, but he is in a bit of bother here. 
isn't he? Yes, that doesn't look nice at all. Yep. You can't see the... Uh Is he going to go for this? This long ball? He this long red? He might have to. Now, has that just bounced into an awkward... I think that makes that red along the cushion near impossible to play. I'm not sure if he can get oh, he's dead centre of the cue no, ball. It looks like he's touching it with a little bit of right hand side. He's played that well. Yeah. That was not easy, was it? No, especially after he's gone for that red, you expect to be left an, e an easy opener, and it would have been if the black wasn't there. But no, he's cued that nice. This is a this is a good chance. Body language. Is he telling us he's not on that? No. Nope. Oh, he's just run. Oh, he's run bit a too ball far. too far. How quick is it? He even potted the black a little bit thick as well, didn't he? So, fortunate he's not only only uh, given eight points away there. Yeah, he'd, he'd be sitting in in the chair are thinking what have I done I've left him a great chance but he'll be relieved that he's only eight points behind well when we had uh, Patrick in the studio sort of you know we were talking about you need a little bit of form don't you you need a little bit of luck and when he when he opened up all those reds in the last one and didn't leave Steads a, a, a shot you know you kind of think is it is it my day but you know I d I just hope on he wins the whole thing now because you can't have no favourites, Lee. No, I know, but like I have. But I do too. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was one of my picks from the start, and obviously you want to do it for the women out there as well. It's a good platform. She's a great ambassador for the sport. People, she has a lot of players and women and sports people in Hong Kong looking after, her and she's she's a great personality as well. Yeah, to go with it. This looks a good shot. Great line on the cue ball. Perfect. You just know it's... Oh, what a shot. Ah. So while he thinks how to get out of this, is this going to be a hit and hope? I was just going to say, hit it as hard as you can. Okay. Well, I'm going to enjoy this shot while it's cocoa time. Oh, no, he's gone for the delicate one. I'll tell you what. First glance, I don't th I think that's a great shot. <laughs> I, I think, think he's been a bit... Does it go? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks it like he's might playing. just go, yeah. That was nearly the perfect get-out, wasn't it, yeah. from that position? Yeah. This game is all about the millimetres, isn't it? So, first big chance to Patrick. And he does look confident, doesn't he, around the black spot? Yeah, and, and he's always got the same pace. He doesn't change the pace if he's rushing or getting too slow. He, he seems to be the exact same every shot he plays. Yeah, and but the, he's in the most comfortable position now. Every snooker player likes to be here around the black spot. Yeah, especially when you haven't got to keep moving that cue ball far, little stun screws. Oh. That those sort of perfect position for a snooker player. He's l has he lost it a little bit there? Slightly overhit that one. But he's played in an area where he had a choice of few reds. If he did over it, he was fine. Under it, he still had, had a shot at a red. So. Yeah, well, the blue's not on a spot, so you know it would have made it more awkward going up the table. But there you go. Just that. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't expect that. You know, but you, we should know by now. If you are not perfect, anything is missable. You know, he knows what shot he's going to play. He gets the rest out straight away, and before you know it, he's running out of seconds. So, oh, what's, what's, he? what's Pete doing here? Where's he playing the plant? Oh, it's one. You see. He just didn't know what shot to play because he got the cover. And 
He's run out of seconds and had to play that. He's he's not happy. I know it's easier said than done, but I'd rather try and cover the red and play try and play a decent safe shot and leave by distance than leave them well, that's close up with a with, with a red over the hole. Yeah, well that's what he's tried to do. I think you know he's tried to he's tried to cover the red this red over the hole, hole and because he's gone for the double, he's got so close to it. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's it's a little bit unlucky, I suppose. But he's like two reds over the corner pocket. She's like giving 16 away straight away. But this is why we love this format. It makes you do stupid shots, doesn't it? It makes you think. Yeah, that was a good shot. When th when that cue ball's right in the pocket, Ryan, you know how difficult it is sometimes. You see the best players in the world muck it up. They just end up coming out an inch. Yeah, especially if you don't really know the table either. It's you or think it's the easiest pot in the world, but it is the easiest pot, but it's not the, exactly the easiest positional shot. That was nice as well. Knowing he was going to be on the reds into the same pocket. Yeah, the right hand one of those two goes. Yeah, I think he's just going to drop this in and... Play a cannon. Play, just slide off that red, yeah. So he's slowly building a nice lead. Nice, solid, very wide stance he's got, hasn't he? Yeah, the if you've got a solid stance, there's less movement on the shots. So, he's missed one with the rest. How's this one going to go? Bang in the middle. He's hit that lovely, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, both rest shots, he didn't have to do too much with it, but this one, he had a little bit more time on it, composed himself a little bit more. Not perfect bridging, but hasn't got to too much with the whites. He's played that well. Yeah, very nice. Just over six minutes, and he's got forty-one point lead. He's looking good. I really want to screw up into the cluster of three to the right of the pink. Oh, he's just clipped. It's gone wrong. Just because he's clipped that first red. This is where you can never guarantee cannons working out. You could, you could think, oh, I'm always going to be on a red, and he's thinking that there. But yeah, but that was that was a bad shot though. He needed a bit more pace. Yeah, it's it's uh he didn't want to be hitting those two. That's why in case you don't get the line that you want, if you hit it a little bit firmer, you know you're gonna come out and maybe push one on. Yeah, so yeah. But it's a good lead. Only just over five minutes left. He's, he's got to be a little bit disappointed there, though, because you, you are looking at that table thinking, uh, you know, that's that's your frame winner. And now he's got to be he's got to be careful now because those balls are sitting beautifully. And Peter Devlin is no fool. Exactly. This is where the format can play tricks with you. You try and treat it as a normal frame as much as you can but you know this lead you need to keep the pressure on and not leave an easy chance if they pot an amazing ball to get in then you have to say fair enough yep but if you leave them with a chance you know I, I, I sort of if, it, if that red goes in what does he do just not the black safe I suppose yeah that's all he's thinking isn't it he's like nick the one point Make it more awkward for my opponent if he yep. does get a chance. Well, Peter's going for this. What kiss is he going to get here? Not a nice one. No. He's going to be 
devastated now. So, third chance for Patrick. He won't care how many chances he gets as long as he gets that win. Ooh, <laughs> that wiped its feet. Yeah, that would have given us a good ending to the frame, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't it? He stayed down a long time on that, didn't he? I told you, these middle pockets. <laughs> People, they've been struggling with them a little bit, haven't they? I've seen more misses to the middles than anything else. Does he pretend to tie his shoelace up? Yeah. He's wearing slip-ons. <laughs> I think... Um, Peter Devlin done that, didn't he, in his, in his frame? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he's, here, he's here having him at it. He's doing a Djokovic in, a, a, <laughs> in the tennis, copying his opponents. I think it was Ben Shelton. When he won a, a match, he'd he done some sort of signalling with putting the phone down and Djokovic beat Shelton next match and done the same <laughs> same celebration. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. He's watching those. So what we got? We got... We got... That's a great pop. Yep, so now, now what do you do? He's won, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's impossible. But there's no no point in pushing the boat out too much. Still, uh, is he going to be shaking the hands or is he going to... So there we go, folks. The first person through to the final is Patrick Whelan. We'll have a little chat in the studio straight after this break. Welcome back. What a night it's been. Finals night, week two, season two at the 900. And it just doesn't get any better than this. We've had all sorts of drama watching on with Rianne Evans and Lee Richardson. The shirt, it's been very exciting, Rianne. I mean, Anya is obviously stolen the show, but of course, uh, still up for grabs, a place in the grand final. Yeah, what a fantastic break she pulled out then. She had one awkward shot and she nailed it, and then from then it was, it was curtains, wasn't it, for her opponent, but absolutely fantastic, and she's got a great chance. Well, let's take a look at um, how it's all panned out then on finals night, and uh, we've had a couple of upsets. Uh, certainly, um, Peter Devlin uh, did make it through in his uh, first match. Um, we had Craig Stedman turned over, George Pragnell beaten Lee, uh, so some of the, the real fancied uh, runners have fallen at the, the final hurdle here. It's been in, a in great Reading. night of snooker, just full stop, you know. Obviously, Craig missed a couple of chances that he wouldn't normally miss, but uh, you know, even that last match then was it was it was brilliant. You see, you saw him drop. Which Peter was telling, oh, I didn't really need to tie my shoelaces, and then and then Patrick's let him have it. He's gone down, <laughs> tied his shoelaces. He's wearing slip-ons. He's showing him all the tricks. You see, yeah, and <laughs> and Peter's face at the end. I don't think he was that, that impressed. <laughs> I don't think he was that impressed. He's got a bit red red cheek. How impressed were you with Patrick Whelan? He's very solid. I mean, it still took him three goes there to get over the line, but, you know, just a couple of things went wrong when he played the cannon up into the three reds and he caught the red on the way through. It broke down. You know, all right, he was a, he was enough ahead that, that, uh, that Peter had to sort of push the boat out mm. a little bit and play a couple of reds into the middle. But, you know, these things these things happen. <laughs> they happen. He's, he's a player that, from what I've seen, is you can't give him too many chances. He's definitely going to take a chance. Yeah. And okay, he's he did very take solid. three attempts on that one, but yeah. he's, he's looking very good. Looking very good. I'll tell you why he's looking so good. He's in the final tonight, <laughs> and uh, who will be playing him? Well, it's Anya and Lee Walker on the way. Uh, we're going to be doing the draw later. Um, let's uh, take a look at what we can expect. I don't know if I can deal with any more of this 900 drama. <laughs> uh, let's take a look then at the players that will be coming in. Our legend next week is the great Dennis Taylor, who, of course, had his own roller coaster ride in the 900 last year. Stuart Watson. Harvey Chandler, uh, Tori Jensen, Ant Parsons. The defending champion is back. He went through season one undefeated and, of course, lifted the trophy, the check, the loss. Elford Evans, Aidan Owens, Mark Shaw. They're the Monday players. Um, one name that really stands out ahead of next week, Rianne. Um, I really like Robin McGuigan, a uh, young talent. I like to see all the new faces coming through. Obviously, we've got the legends as well, but, yeah, I like to see the 
young new fresh face is doing well. Yeah, and he's very much a fresh face, isn't he? But uh, he's, it seems like he's been around a little bit longer because he's always been an up and coming player uh, from Northern Ireland. He'll be joining on the Tuesday and. Um, Coming in on the Monday, who are you most looking forward to? Well, it's always nice to see Arvi Chandler. You know, he's a good lad. He's a great player. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the Icelandic player, Thori. Um, You've spent time in Iceland. I've, I've played a, I've, years and years ago. I won the Pepsi Open, but I know a few of the lads anyway. One of the, the, the top Icelandic, he came over and stayed with me. He ended up dating Scary Spice. Fjolnith Augustson, his name was. So, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he's like. Um Good to see Ant Parsons as well. Always going to be great to see Dennis Taylor. And, of course, uh, Stuart Watson. You just don't get this on any other snooker production, <laughs> do you? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, I, he you was can, engaged to Scary Spice. You played a tight end in, in Iceland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then Scary Spice. I don't know how we got there. But anyway, we did. And uh, one thing for sure is it's going to be a terrific week, uh, week three next week. But listen, here's where it's at right now. Because this is a mouth-watering clash, isn't it? Uh, they've spent so many years. Lee Walker's been trying to improve on you, help her with her game, nourish the talent. And now he's got to go out there and beat him. <laughs> Peter. They're going to backfire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what did Mark Williams tweet? Everyone in Wales is cheering on you. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I kind of, I, I, listen, I love Lee Walker. I've known him for years and years. Um, I just want her to win because I think it's a great, it's great for the, it's great for the game tonight. You know, uh, I, th I think she's great for the 900 and I've not I've not seen her play live before so and I'm double impressed well you went double. You I mean, I'm picking balls out for you all day I wasn't <laughs> impressed at all you but, that's cruel and that is cruel and you're 12 times world champion you had a ringside seat though didn't you and uh, right, very quickly they are ready downstairs so who wins name on you, on you. okay on you then Stay where you are. You do not want to miss a beat of this. It's on the 10 to 11, Lee Walker, 4 to 5, and the bookmakers, well, they can't make up their minds um, either. Let's enjoy it. Back to Billy Castle. Yes, thank you very much, Rachel. Welcome back, folks, to our second semi-final, our finals night on week two, between On Yi from Hong Kong and Lee Walker of Wales. You know, this is going to be an interesting one. I'd like to welcome back the um, Pepsi Open champion. <laughs> the shirt. Well, I, mean, I didn't think they'd be having him, me in here because I thought Rihanna would get Rihanna in to, to she, talk uh, about on you because she knows more about her. But I am double impressed, Billy. Same. Double. Same. I mean, I can't say enough good things about her, to be honest. What I've seen this week, you know, she's been in. She's such a lovely girl as well, like Rihanna says. But she's up against it, I feel, and Lee Walker. You know, I've got to fancy Lee Walker to go on and win tonight's tournament. Obviously, it's not guaranteed. No, I mean he's a strong favourite, isn't he? With the with the uh, yeah, yeah. But but you know, strong favourites. All they've been doing is getting beat. Exactly. You know, I fancied Robin L, Barry Pinches, all these strong favourites, and they've all got beat Billy. But and um, by players that haven't played as well as on ye. Yeah. Well, like I say, Patrick Whelan's snuck in the back door. No one's really. I know what he's he's been my tip. Which I'm going to put that out there, but he's in the final. Yeah. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Need credit for that. <laughs> you, you, you get too much credit. <laughs> so he he he, he done a, he played well in the semi final there, early. Pat did he done all the right things? You know, yeah. Pete was up against it every time he comes to the table. What I've seen, it, what I see of it. But anyway, you know, Lee's just seeing if he can have a route back into the. Bulk here. Yeah, it's difficult. I don't isn't want it? to leave this red. Uh, it's difficult when the table runs this quick, isn't it? Yeah, because he's pushed that red towards the middle there. And with that shot, you're gonna you'll give it an extra little bit because you you want to hit a cushion. Oh, they, they are she needs a shots, rattle. But she don't want a skew ball going in. No, a rattle. She's okay. So, Lee, this Pepsi Open. Wow. That's an interesting name for a tournament. Yeah, well, it was just sponsored by. I went over with uh, Lee Grant. I don't know if you know Lee Grant. The goalie for Man United. <laughs> <laughs> he's running out of time. Oh, he's, he's massacred it. Wow. He just went, but he's, look, it's he's, he's run a little Ooh. bit too far. I he's think he might have got away. Yeah, it's very awkward queuing now for Onyi. 
but she's quite good at these shots. They work straight, straight cueing. You know, wish I could keep her. Well, I know she sees middle ball better than I see middle ball. <laughs> and this is what you need to whip for this shot. Yeah, oh, nice great shot. shot. Just, just gone in. Just wiggled gone in. it in. Yeah, that's where the new cloth lead. They slide in off, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah, she's got a, a three reds on there. After the yellow, off the side cushion, she's going to be in red in either corner pocket. She could have done, just gotten into the queue a little bit more there, Lee. Yeah. But yeah. she's pretty good with the rest. Yeah. So, does she just roll this in, or does she roll it on and off the cushion for the black? Yeah, she's played on and off the cushion there. That's a lovely shot. That's perfect. I mean, if this red goes below the pack as well, Lee, you know, it's a good chance in a minute. Yeah. I'm leaving yourself low on that red. You know, screw it into the pack, bringing some more reds into play. Obviously, right. in a few shots' time. No, she's running it through for the red in the middle, I think. Yeah, I mean, she's going to clear the other two reds before that. I yeah, believe. yeah, yeah. And then she's going to leave herself, you know, half on that red, maybe. Could have done with being a lot closer to this red. Well, I just think she feels so confident, Lee, that. But she's going to pot everything at the minute. I mean, she can just run this on in for the pink in the opposite middle if she wanted to. But What a great shot that another is. Another nice shot. <laughs> she's mustard. She looks like she's got so much confidence, Lee. You, know, you can tell a player who's very confident the way they walk around the table when they're striking the ball. And Listen, mate, it puts you in a good mood when you make 100 break. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's why you're always in a bad mood. <laughs> it's been years. Wow, that, she didn't strike that one clean, no, Lee. So, too long to think about it. Maybe just play on or off the cushion into the bottom of the pack. Yeah, make sure whatever you do, don't just, hit the black. Just don't hit the black. Oh. Well, she's left this red on for Lee. I mean, it did always look wide, that, didn't it? Because you said don't hit the black, and I'm thinking if she misses the pack altogether. Yeah. Because this, this white should just be in the bottom of the pack now. Yeah, I think she did it a little bit pacey as well. Yeah, it's a lovely shot from Lee. So, on ye is human. Loads of right hand side to lay on this red. Well, he's got to use the Mark Williams rest again here. You know what he's like with these rest, Lee. <laughs> well, I fancy he's probably normally all right, but we are going to milk it that it was a terrible <laughs> shot yesterday. Wow, that's a lovely shot. It's perfect here on the, on the yellow or green to go into the pack. Yeah. Now, you've got to be careful. You can't hit it too hard. You've got to uh, let, let the cue ball get a little bit of screw on it. Well, Lee's back's definitely okay after he's just done a little trot for us there. Wow. That's the shot. Oh, he's finished on a red in the middle. Yeah, he's nice. okay. The thing is that... He's, he's looked at the green and looked at the yellow, but for me, it was always the yellow. As soon as he landed there, yeah. it was always the, the green yellow. green, obviously, was a lot thinner. She had to, it's more of a missable shot than Lee. And it's more difficult to get into the pack. Yeah. So he's going to try and top spin this on off the red for the blue. Yeah, it's a tough shot. You know, well, it's a big blue if he decides to take it on. <laughs> Just that's a little look round at the black. <laughs> See if the black goes. <laughs> Just get down. <laughs> You've got to knock the blue or play safe. Well, it's a big shot now. This is massive. Oh, oh, he struck it well. Yeah, he did it it well. So, what a chance on ye? So, not easy to get on a colour though. No, she wants to be hitting this. You know, very thin. She's got to be careful he doesn't catch the red on the way back up, though. She yeah, does it I'll be playing this for right-hand side, Billy. You've got to get it yeah. to the left-hand side of the table, up the top. 
See, I'd have been playing it, trying to play it wider because I don't think the mm. blue and the yellow go. So, yeah, it's a tough shot, though. Obviously, oh, it's, it's, it's a, it is a difficult shot. I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, your shot was obviously right. You play on the left side of the table, you got the blue at least. So I think she's going to play in behind the blue here. She just wants to block the left side off. And I think she hasn't. I should be disappointed with that. Yeah, when those when you've got a ball over the hole, it's never easy to get position, is it? Doesn't want to catch the pink. Oh, but he has left a long one on there. You know, and she's been knocking these in for funly. She did just check the plant there, see if those two were plant. Yeah. Yeah, but I think she's she just needs to concentrate on this. You know, people always expect everybody to pop these, but there's a lot of distance there. And you just have a little tap of the cue there. It's a nice replayed shot. But she's not on the colour. No. And she can't roll up behind the green. Well, you could, but well, it'd yeah. be a foul. Well, unless you play the white thick off the green, white off the side cushion, and try and it's a tough shot. Yeah, that's that's too far away. Wow, she could cut the blue. Oh, in. the blue. That never looked like that went in. Well, on our camera, oh. Lee, and she's perfect. Oh. oh. On our camera screens, Ellie, that never looked cutable <laughs> no, at all. Not at all. That was tin. I mean, she would like to play the, the red stunning behind the black, but she's just afraid she's not going to get a cushion. Oh, no, you can play that red. You can play this quite hard and still get the stun. I mean, I'll just stun him behind the black there, Lee. <coughs> so, a lot of time left in this 16 point time. lead from Yi. Lee's got another red in to play there. Yeah, I think we could find a few of these reds up there at the moment. So on this shot, Billy, with this white ball on this table, you've got to give it extra side, haven't you, to get back? Yeah, because you just and see that shot there. See, you've got to you've got to get more side on it than that. Yeah, you know, it plays a little bit different. You know the way one. I, you know, because she wasn't digging down on it, you know. The way just I, the way I saw queuing up to that, I thought I was thinking she's not getting enough on this. So now she's in the spot of bother. What's your shot, Billy? Well, I think this red close to trying to dig down on a cue ball. You know, she got a big target back on the cushion and not beyond the black. But as long as she gets her nearer back to the cushion where she is, yeah, you've got to give that extra. It's not too bad, but she's going to be in trouble the next shot, Lee. Yeah, big trouble. It's going to be tight on the cushion. So now she's in a bit of bother. It should be worth just having a quick walk around the table see if she leaves the white up in the yellow corner pocket there. If she's going to leave anything. But I think there's a red in the middle of them three Lee, that goes I into think, the green I think pocket. You've I think you've called it already. She plays off the left-hand side of the red and the blue. She sticks that over there. And she sticks the white in just there. That's a good shot. Good vision. But I think... Oh, this red goes though, Lee. She's had a tight bounce. on the ball yeah. cushion. Yeah. The bounce has not worked towards her favour. See, that's what I'm saying. Them red in between them three does that go. Just kept running again. Because it looked good, Billy. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he's missed that on our camera screen. <laughs> <laughs> it did. <laughs> I think we need some team glasses. Well, it's a, you know, it's, it takes good queuing. Obviously, of course, he's the favourite to pot this. Yeah, now it, it might take uh, a little while for him to score 13 points here, but the Reds are there to, for it to be done. So she's going to drop this brown in, play the red into the left-hand middle. Yeah, it looks like he's going to run it on off the cushion, try and get as close as he, as he can to that red. 
So now he's going to come back down for the black after this red. You might even play for the blue, Billy. I know otherwise you've got to go all the way from the black to the red. No. Is it thick? <gasps> wow. I didn't see that one coming. No, I thought he's guaranteed. After landing there on the brown, I thought it was... You know, I couldn't see him not taking the lead. Right, so what's your shot? Very thin off this one? Very thin off this. Yeah. Up and down. Very thin, thin, thin off the right-hand side of the red. <gasps> She's miscued. Oh, my word. Oh. She's miscued there, Lee. Yeah. I still use green triangle. Oh, I haven't played for a couple of years, but... <laughs> I'm not sure if that stuff's... Can they still invent that stuff, Lee? <laughs> Can't get it anymore. <laughs> I'm a <only> joke. <laughs> he wants to make sure he's, he's okay. I mean, he's just going to kill all the time now, Lee. He's going to pop the blue and take the lead. You know, he's just got to use all his seconds now. Yeah. Oh, what's... It's a sick, a sick way to go yeah, out. Yeah, it's a bit of a sp spoiler for us reading semis because, you know, it's not a good way to go out. Do you think at the pace she played it then, she was playing to pot it? Yeah, I'm Because not sure. the shot I was saying, the shot I said was just, you know, clip it thin and clip go up thin, and down. Yeah, and, and she flew it into the pocket, didn't she? So I'm thinking she was probably pushing the boat out to go for it. Both very tough shots to play. I mean, use your 20 seconds here now, Lee. Pot the black. Use another 20 seconds and it's going to be game over. Yeah. Oh, it, was, it was so close to being a great a great game and just that miscue has, has uh, ruined us. Lee, yeah. Walker, Lee Walker has broken a lot of hearts tonight. Wow. All the Wales was cheering on on ye as well. <laughs> Mark Williams is cheesed off. <laughs> but then we're going to see a Patrick Wheel and Lee Walker final. Mind you, is Mark playing, playing early tomorrow? So there you have it, folks. We've got our final. Lee Walker beats not on ye. And we'll talk about it in the studio straight after this break. Well, folks, that is just the drama of the 900. Um, on ye bows out uh, in the semi-final. Congratulations uh, to Lee Walker. But after the heroics and just the pure brilliance we've seen this week from her, it's just such a disappointing way to go out. It was, it was such a shame. She deserves to be at least a chance to get into the winner's week. But, yeah, she's been fantastic. She's got to take all the positives she can from this because she was sort of dreading the format but excited to be in it. And now she knows that she can play in, in this format and under that pressure. So, yeah, fair play to her. She's been amazing. And she's um, also got the highest break, knocking Boreal Barry I'm Pinches off. I'm devastated. I'm not sure I'm over it to talk about it. Um, <laughs> Lee's, yeah, Lee's it, the most hated man at the moment. <laughs> it, it, it was just a disappointment to go out on a miscue like yeah. that because I'm not even sure what she was playing. I think at the pace it went in, I think she was actually going for that red. Um, oh, right, instead of playing the, instead thin, of playing the thin safety. Because okay. it, it went in quite quick. Yeah. But we'll only know when you when you speak to her. But, um, yeah, Lee's, Lee was still solid, you know. And w when they started tip-tapping at the back, you, you kind of felt the worst because yeah. Lee's, Lee's very clever. Yeah. You know, when, you, when you've got Mark Williams in your camp as well, you just know... He's cl the cleverest, possibly. So, you know it was going to be tough for her. But oh, I'm disappointed just to yeah. go out on that miscue. Such Bro a shame. It's a pity. It really is. But, um, listen, hopefully we'll, we'll see her again uh, at the 900 in the near future. Just to say that we have got the final on the way as well. We'll get the, the picks from the guys shortly. Uh, Patrick Whelan and Lee Walker in the final tonight, of course. Place for the uh, grand final, the 22nd of November, up for grabs. So that's all to come. Right, we're ready for week three. <laughs> we haven't done week two yet, but we're always <laughs> ready for another week. Uh, we've got the names and we have got the balls. We're ready we've for got the draw. balls. Ladies first, first again. First. I just, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry already. Number seven. 
And you'll see all of the names. Um, Harvey Chandler, who was actually at the 900, yeah. uh, played last season. Brilliant player and uh, was at the time he was in Casablanca. He'll be one of... Was he? Yeah. He'll be one of my favourites for next week. Oh, sorry, number four. I was having a little <laughs> look who he's got. Number four, Elford Evans, a really good player. He's a Welsh amateur champion a yeah, few times, I think. and th they're so strong. It's one of the strongest, if not the strongest, home counties. For, shall I carry on? Number five. <laughs> number five is uh, Aidan Owens, who will have lots of this format under his belt. Playing number one. Number one is uh, our legend next week. It is uh, Dennis Taylor. Needs no introduction. <laughs> Number six. And uh, number six is uh, Tori Jensen from Iceland. Number three. And Tori will play Stuart Watson. Oh. Tori. That'll be a tough game for both of them. Number eight. Number eight is Mark Shaw. Against last year's champ. Yes. And Parsons <laughs> with a wink. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, these draws are getting better and better, aren't they? Uh, wow. Uh, it's going to be uh, an amazing week. Um, I just think it's... We say it every week, and you're probably thinking, oh, you say it every week. We do, because it's just going to be such a tough group again. Yeah, all those names, they're all very competitive, and you've got the legend as well, Dennis Taylor, but for me, the first the first matchup is one of the toughest ones that they could have had, really. Both top players. Yeah. And first up as well, so all That's the extra the, pressure. Yeah. That's the toughest. That's the toughest draw there. The first match, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, not happy. They're not going to be happy. Um, but it's it's a it's a strong field. It'll be great to see Dennis. Obviously, he's going to be help, helping out. He'll be in the comms box, I suppose. Well, he pulled and off one of the biggest surprises of season one, beating Billy Castle. I don't know. I can't remember the, the odds, but he was definitely not yeah. the favourite in the yeah. match. If only Billy knew the rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, he's been commentating on it now long enough. Hopefully he'll know it uh, this time round. Uh, but, yeah, so some, some great players on there. And Ant Parsons, defending champion, he went through the whole season undefeated. I mean, can he possibly win it again? Definitely. He's got the right game for it. He's so solid. Um, whether you can at this format, is it is it's it possible? Such, it's such a loss you just to win one match, let alone yeah. so many, two seasons. So, yeah, I think it's... A, he, obviously, he can do it. He's, he's one of the he's first ones. He's a great player, and he's a, and he's a player, lovely lad. But it's a tough ask. Oh, it's, it was such a lovely moment last year, wasn't it? You know, he's so emotional, and and it's ten thousand pounds. You know, yeah. it's, it's it's a massive prize, and you know, to be be in the grand final, but to to walk away with the the big one, an amazing achievement. He's back, so that'll be quite good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him, but I'm, I'm also looking forward to seeing Dennis because he puts a smile on your face as soon as he walks in the room. <laughs> he's an absolute legend. <laughs> yeah, he's an absolute legend. <laughs> and uh, our legend this week didn't disappoint either, Joe Johnson. So Dennis Taylor, legend next week, and the draw is done, and they'll be priced up. If you want to take a look at the odds in the morning, you'll be able to get involved uh, for week three. Stay where you are, though. We've got the final on the way. Who will be on the board after this, uh, making it through to the grand final of this year's uh, 900? Lee Walker, 4-6. to six, Patrick Whelan, 11-10. to 10. And, uh, well, stick around because you'll find out right after the break. Welcome back, you lovely snooker fans. It's the final. It's the final. What do we think, Rianne? I'm going to go for Lee to win this one. You mean the heartbreaker? Yes. The most hated man <laughs> in the snooker world at the moment. Yeah, I just think he's going to be a little bit too strong for him in the safety department if he goes that way. And, he, and he's fluent in the balls as well. Do you know what I mean? So. And he's just come off the table as exactly. well. Back on. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of feel like Lee And he Lee started might win with this. a good break off as well. Yeah, he's put him in trouble straight away. But um, but who knows? Yeah, obviously, Patrick's very capable. But um, this is and that's a good shot. Yeah, very good. Nice tap on the table from Lee. You don't really mean it though, do you? When you say good shot? Yeah, no, <laughs> not at all. But. It's you acknowledge you acknowledge a good shot, don't you? Yeah, definitely. <coughs> it's nearly a perfect return, just a little 
shorter pace, but the line of the cue ball was spot on, wasn't it? Yeah, and uh, you know he's not pushed a red over any pocket, so yeah, he'd be in this, this, this pack shot. of reds quite thin. Yeah, this is going to be a thin shot. Back up behind the yellow, a little bit pacey. Seen the sort of shot for Lee as well. Yep. He's make sure you don't push a red over the corner. I was going to say there's a plant there that's sort of pushing. The red he's going to play is going to push another red towards the pocket, but he's played it slightly thicker to avoid that happening. See, that's what I mean with that little bit of knowledge and yep. experience. He knows if he hits it thicker, he's got two balls rather than one, so it takes a bit of pace it and the line of the ball's different. Exactly. So exactly. He hasn't just thought about the cue ball, has he? No, I think that's the difference between he's sort of a standard club player that's just watching at home. Uh, he doesn't see that type of thing. So, first attempt failed. Now I don't think he's left one to the right middle. Yeah, I think he would have been down playing it yeah. already if he'd uh, left on into the middle. So this is uh, into the green bag for this one. Sort of a shot to nothing, isn't it? It looks good, yeah. Very nice start. But again, a little bit of pressure off it as well because he wasn't leaving too much. No. Nope. These balls look open, but a little bit, bit messy, aren't they? It is only a couple of shots away of looking good, though. And that's one of them. And now they look lovely. <laughs> oh, don't they? So it's Lee with the first good chance to try and join Josh Thummond into Winner's Week. Right. Well. that very well. A little bit too much Cecchino. She's got into it a little bit too much, isn't he? Yeah. He looked to be queuing low on that though, didn't he? I thought he maybe needed a bit more sort of stun and maybe a little bit less pace to take it above the blue. But you know that when he when he played the cannon after the black, I thought he'd be playing the red down the right down the side rail, the one that he pushed towards the rail. I thought he just chipped that in. But I think he was worried about getting back on the black, maybe with the bit congested by the black area. Yeah, well, he's playing th this one now. Yeah. Ooh. Well. It was a little bit unlucky. He struck that really well. I think he thought that was in, the way he struck that. Yeah. But that was a great chance and... I know Patrick's in with a with a chance. <laughs> Might take a while to get in prime position though. Got to avoid the bolt collars here. Back up to the business end of the table. Yeah, in and out. So in between the brown and green. Loads of right hand side. Chill, chill. Is he on that rear? He's on it, but yep. not how he wanted to be. So, got to try and avoid the middle pocket here. Do you take it in front of the middle or you screw past it? Just played it in front. That's a nice shot. Bit of right hand side there. No, He's very cued that lovely. Very well controlled, yeah. Didn't overhit it. Just let the cue do the work on that shot. Stayed still as well, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, you watch his head on this shot. You know, doesn't move at all. That was a little bit risky playing that shot. He didn't need to play a cannon there, did he? No. I'm not not I'm got the best angle, I don't think. I don't know if the black goes past that red near the right-hand pocket, but... He's got to play a cannon here anyway. So he's out of position already. Yeah, I thought that cannon 
off the blue was a little bit risky going into the pink and the reds when you didn't need to. Yeah. Just makes everything a little bit awkward, but a good safety shot here. Just push the yellow, put the white behind the... Ooh. Did he go for the pot? Had to have gone. Okay. I don't know what. None of this is easy though. So, is he going to play this red down the cushion and screw back for the blue? And he was hoping that that was the only red he could leave. Okay, he's left, he's left another red down the rail. Uh, but now it looks like the black. is available if you wanted to stun across above the two reds next to this red he's going for or you play it terribly like that yeah he, he was up off the shot oh you've been saying how silly he's been on the shot but he's up he yep. quit off he quit it didn't he I don't think he really wanted to play it no would you have played the shot i said sort of stun it in across and you know go in between the four reds yeah, that would have been the shot I would have preferred because you, you're striking the cue ball with more authority. I don't think Lee paid that gap, <laughs> but he's got it and it's worked out well. He's played it at a good pace, though. If you do want to land on the pink. Ah. <gasps> They both want What's it. What's going on? They want it too much. Yeah, oh. Lee's fuming there. Yeah, I mean, when you get a bit of good fortune like that, you've got to, you, you know, you've got to capitalise. It's not as if he had a bit of good fortune and left with a, a like a smelly shot where no. there's a lot of pressure on it. Well. It's I mean, there's a lot of pressure on everything at the moment, but I mean, you you got to be happy with where you've landed. He was perfect, really. See, now I think that's crazy. Why has he not just stunned it back and popped the red in along the... You know, just stop it dead, virtually. Screw back, just drop that red in. You're, ne you're never going to miss it. It's amazing what pressure can do, isn't it? Don't tell me the don't tell me <laughs> he's bridging the browns blocking the pink don't tell me this surely cushion first little bit of side or is he just going to clip off it? yeah okay oh they're feeling it aren't yeah, they I'm feeling <laughs> it so is he just chipping off this or is he dumping it if it's like a straight shot, you got to go for it because the double kiss will be on. It's so hard to play safe off that because if, if it's virtually straight, nine times eight out of ten, you're going to double kiss the yeah. red. So he thought you'd probably get a better white playing the, the top spin on the on the pot. Sorry. This needs good cue in here though. Yeah, on and off the cushion. In between the two reds, up for the blue or the pink. And uh, wasn't very close to that. This is getting proper twitchy now for it both is. players. I think they're trying not to lose them rather to win. Yeah, because you'd be happy with that. You'd be happy to be left that in a normal match, wouldn't you? I know this is no normal match, but um, you would expect players to not let in nine times out of ten. Especially when you reach the final and you've had... You've been playing on the... What's he... What's... Oh, oh. my <laughs> word. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> and it didn't need to be that, that close to it, did no. it? No. It could have bounced <laughs> a little bit and everything, but... I think he blew that white ball onto the cushion <laughs> then. I think I might have. Needs what, to avoid the middle. No, want that knuckle. That was unlucky, to be honest, that was an awkward position to be in. Yeah, because that middle pocket's not normally there. But <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <babe. laughs> but You know what I'm saying. You know it's always there. Yes, I know, Lynn. 
I've seen you play them shots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guaranteed I'd have gone in off. But, but he didn't have no choice. He had to play towards yeah. that middle pocket and he, he caught it quite well with the contacts on the red. So he's just in front. He's, he's one in front with just under four minutes left. So you've got a guaranteed red, black, and there's a red over the middle. I won't guarantee anything in this frame. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that top red of the four goes into the right pocket. And then that opens the other one as well. So he hasn't got to do really too much hard work unless he falls badly out of position. Sure, he's too good now and too experienced, surely. So back down for the black. That's perfect position. That's perfect position. So... 100% concentration on this black. Just let the cube run into those reds. That's no. lovely pace, wasn't it? Didn't over it. it didn't want to... Uh, oh, I think he's looking... He I don't think he can, can he get through get to, to the bottom one. It looks tight, doesn't it? And and I don't think the top one... The top one doesn't go. Doesn't that look like that goes on that picture? Yeah, it does, yeah. And yet, you see it on it's there. It's so deceiving on the screen. It's got no chance of going. So he's been a bit unlucky there. Doesn't want to push this over the pocket. That's why he's just left it there. Yeah, that wasn't a bad shot, was it? That was just a little bit unlucky, to be honest. Maybe a little bit more pace, but you don't know over it those shots because it widens the angle, then you don't catch the cannon right. It well, he that's, has brought that's a those clever shot. He has brought it's aggressive. He's been a bit unlucky. He's took <laughs> four balls on the cushion and put three of them back on, or two of them back and on. And left right one on. over the hole. <laughs> yeah. Left him leave with a chance to pot this red. So, head still. Well, that's difficult to say when Lee's queuing because he moves it a little bit, but he will stay down on the shot. Yeah, he wasn't worried about the the cue ball. There. He was just focusing on the on the red ball going down into yeah. the pocket, and he's keeping control of the frame. He's 18 points up with just a minute, just over a minute and 20 seconds left. Yeah, just running away with the points. Oh, yeah, how did that drop? <laughs> the pace. So, another. 20 points, run that down. Just take your time. Fancy him to pot this because there's no pressure on it. It's shot to nothing as well. He knows he's got the other two red safe. He's got a good cue ball, which was the main main part of that shot. So, so 25. He needs three reds and blacks and the yellow. And don't think he's going to do it. So it looks like Lee will be joining Josh in the final week. The heartbreaker. The heartbreaker. The most hated man in snooker tonight. <laughs> but he's got the job done, hasn't he, Lee? Yeah. And I don't know why we doubted him. He plays in, the, in all the seniors' events and he's always thereabouts. So there you have it, folks. Second week's champion is Lee Walker. We'll get him in the studio next.
Welcome back. Thank you for staying up with us. It's been a really enjoyable evening and congratulations to our week two champion. It's Lee Walker. Well done. Yeah, thank you. What was your what were your expectations coming to the 900? Oh, not, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Considering he never won a, uh, one single match in all the years of the shootout. No, I was uh, I was consistent though in the shootout. All you needed was five extra seconds. That's it. Days, That's right? it. That's all it was. That's all it was. <laughs> it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride um, the last couple of days for yourself. Uh, we've, we've got to reflect on 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 playing on ye in the yeah. semi final uh, first up uh, it was a it was a horrible way for her to lose but uh, how did you feel yeah she played better than i did I, th I think she controlled the game all the way through it was just the foul at the end i missed the red in the middle i thought that was probably it then but i got a bit lucky left her a tough shot and i think she tried to play with a little bit of side <clears throat> and uh, she ended up it, it missing the red altogether but you know, obviously I want to win, but I'd rather not play her if I could, uh, <laughs> if I could help you're, the, you're the most hated man in snooker tonight, you know that, Yes, you? there yeah. wasn't many cheering me down there, <laughs> I can assure you. There wasn't up here either, on No. <laughs> and the, the final tonight against uh, Patrick Whelan, he's really showed he's a, he's a good player and um, he's had a great run to get to the final. It was quite twitchy out there. It looked twitchy. Yeah, yeah. I, I think if, I'd, if I could have potted, the, I had a chance at the start, if I potted the red to come off two cushions for the black, I felt all right then. I think I would have won it and won it. And then, because I missed a couple then, it was like I didn't know what I was doing then halfway through. <laughs> <so> <laughs> no, but sometimes it's catching and we got the edginess, the nerves and everything like that, wanting to win the, yeah. to get in the winner's week. And then it's sort of like, he's missed it. He's I missed again. And I then felt really missed. comfortable yesterday. And, and then today, uh, even in the first game, although I played quite well, I didn't feel, didn't feel comfortable at all. And then, um, yeah, uh, when I missed the pink in the middle in that last match, I thought Patrick would have, because it was three easy reds around the black. If, if he makes 24 there or mm -hmm. 30, I'm in real trouble. But uh, luckily for me, he didn't. Indeed. And um, you, Lee Walker, have... Uh You've let the snooker do the talking. Because <laughs> <I don't laughs> you've had a fair bit to, to put up with, haven't you, with, with Mark Williams. If any message to Mark, I'm sure he's watching on. Oh, no, because I won now. He won't text me now. <laughs> if that's no, it. No, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> I actually said to him, he's really supporting him, and, and he will be cheering you on. It's it's just, it's just been good fun, though. Yeah, I've re look, it's, it, this, I've got to say big thank you to uh, Jason and all, all, all the team, because... Uh, you know, amateur snooker leans a lot more tournaments like this because this is, um, I didn't really know what to expect because I didn't play in it last year, but um, this is a great event. Everything, the, t the conditions, you know, you can't play on a better table than yeah, that. You know, some of, the, some, of the, some of the tables that uh, the boys are playing on on the main tour are not as good as that. So, uh, yeah, long may it continue. Well, it's great to have you. Uh, it really is. Um, you know, one of the star attractions um, when we, we saw your name coming up uh, <laughs> this week. <laughs> I've, I've, never been, I've never <laughs> been described as a star attraction before. This is my telling. <laughs> <laughs> it's cost me quite a few quid to I've got to be honest. This is my telling the truth uh, bit. Um, Lee, are you doing anything on the 22nd of November? Uh, well, I am now. <laughs> yes, you are, because you're going to be in the grand final. Congratulations, and we look forward to having you back here in the grand final in November Thank on you. the 22nd. So Lee Walker, then champion for week two. And we roll on next week to week three of season two of the 900. And uh, we did do the draw earlier this evening. And we'll just uh, recap on those matches, get a quick reaction with uh, Lee and Rianne Harvey Chandler. Uh, was drawn out first, of course. Harvey's actually going from playing pool in China to the 900. He played in it last year as well. And he's up against Elfit Evans, who's a, a top amateur, Welsh amateur champion. So that's a real tough match to kick us off. And uh, Aidan owns the Silver Fox. Um, he was uh, with us last season as well. The legend that is uh, Dennis Taylor. And uh, 15 different countries represented in season two. And um, Tori Jensen is one of them. But he's from Iceland, the Icelandic champion. So that's brilliant. And uh, also we've got Stuart Watts, another top amateur player. And Mark Shaw, he'll be very familiar with the format. He came through the 900 qualifiers and right down at the bottom, Last but not least, we've got the defending champion and Parsons. Great lineup, guys. What a night it's been tonight. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. The standard has been amazing. I thought week one was fantastic with that brilliant clearance from Marcus. And then you got Onyi making centuries for fun, enjoying herself out there. And then you show this week and you've got the defending champion. You've got the legend, Dennis Taylor. Oh, it's, it just gets better I and better. I don't know about Lee Walker being a star attraction. He's a star heartbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be kind. <laughs> Honest, I don't like him anymore. Uh, I do. I, I I love him. I think he's great for the game. Um, obviously he's he's a coach. Spends a lot more time coaching mm. now. He's a, a very good coach. Um, Mark Williams has, has 
full of praise for him in, in terms of coaching. Maybe not his snooker, <laughs> uh, but it's it's nice to have him uh, on the board. And um, yeah, that's it. A uh, little nod to Joe Johnson, our legend, um, rolling back the years as well. Such a great long potter. I mean, and he's still, I was, he even had a sneaky kebab last night. <laughs> Well, it's not that sneaky if you spotted him. <laughs> <laughs> not with these eyes. It might not have even been him to tell you the truth. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Lee, and to uh, Rianne. Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Rianne. Thank you. And uh, next week we'll have a, another uh, professional, and that will be Boron Bingham. Stuart Bingham will be in the house uh, next Monday, so we'll be looking forward to, to that. And, of course, the shirt will be back wearing another ridiculous number and I'll be here too uh, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you next Monday only a few more days to wait bye bye